It's Pixie! Hey, hey, what's it going? <laughs> Pixie, how's it going? It's me. Yay! Good, good. So the, everybody, today's guest here is Pixie Die. How's it going? It's going well, it's going well. It's Sunday, I slept in. <laughs> nice. So here I am waking up for the podcast, so really yeah. excited to be here. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, But first off, uh, is everybody, can everybody hear me and Pixie uh, very can well? Can you hear me? Because sometimes audio can be a little bit, you know, eh, you know, happens. So just let me know if you guys can like hear everything. Everything sounds clear. Yeah, audio is good. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> okay. Nailed it. <laughs> yes, nailed it. So, isn't it crazy, Pixie, that last week we're hanging out at TwitchCon and it's already been like already a week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot it's like a week. You know what? It felt, it feels longer. Mm -hmm. But I look at the photos, I'm like, wow, I posted it six days ago. <laughs> I know, right? I, I felt like that was yeah, just no. like last year and stuff. I was like, wait, that was just last week. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, wow, I have no concept of time at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no, TwitchCon was really crazy. Um, a really interesting event. Uh, super glad we met. Super glad I met like a lot of people from the community and mm -hmm. stuff. But uh, overall, really, really wild event to go to for sure. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. Just um, be able to like just see everybody all at once. Uh, Saturday was very hectic, but Sunday was super chill. So I was really glad to be able to meet you and uh, tickle. Uh, I thought that was really cool because I was like, oh my god, they're here in the flesh. Yeah, we're real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was super tired. And so like, I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, dear, if I'm not energetic. Because oh, I'm no, like, no. usually super energetic. But I'm like a con boomer now. So like at the end of the con, I'm like... <gasps> Yep. <laughs> you know? I, I felt that when I was uh, seeing your stories through IG. You're just like, oh, I'm hella I like, tired. And it's weird. I, I can't party, guys, anymore. I was my like, body can't take it. I was like, I kind of want to go back to my hotel and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mood. Yeah. For uh, real, for you, real. you guys are hilarious. Uh, the minute, like, when I first met you guys in IRL, you're like, he's not a robot. And I heard you guys. <laughs> I'm not, like, they are. <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh. I'm like, I'm just, like, checking myself. Uh, I'm not a robot, guys. I'm real life. I'm waiting for the day I meet someone online, and then I meet them in real life, and I'm like, you're not real. You are an AR. <laughs> oh my gosh. That'd be a possibility. You know, how about for your, like, be. if you're watching, like, your favorite VR. I'm like, is it real? Is yeah. my life real? <laughs> yeah. They're just like, no, I'm not real. I'm like, oh my god. But oh I'm my god, I knew robot. it. Knew it. <laughs> Posting on Reddit right now. <laughs> I know, it's like, <gasps> Robot friend! I know RBZ's a robot here. Hey RBZ, how's it going? And uh, let's see, we got Bad Battle. Hello, oh my a god. A Battle Beeler. Battle Beeler, hello. Welcome guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Sweet. Well, Pixie, it is lunch over for friendo, so I just want to ask you, did you bring anything for lunchies? Oh, I brought a chicken salad sandwich. Oh. I don't know if you can see that. My plate's very red. It's going to be very saturated, but I kind of cut it sloppy, but boy, is it good. <laughs> that looks really good. So that's what we're eating. It's probably going to fall apart, though, as we eat it. But then I also got a giant caramel cookie <sighs> that you shouldn't eat all at once. But I will eat it all at once because I'm hectic. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> you know how much sugar this has? Let's see. It, hmm. It's way too much. Uh, 42 grams, which is way above your daily intake of sugar. Mm-hmm. So if you eat one of these, that's the maximum sugar intake for the day. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's way too much. Yeah, unfortunately, I like I had to cut off, cut like sugar kind of like out of my diet and re tried to really replace it with like fruits. And I've been doing really good at it because I'm I'm such a sweet tooth. I love anything like with cookies or oh, anything sure. sweets like that. So I'm just like looking at it I was like, I want wood, but at the same oh, yeah, time I try I to stay away from sugar. Yeah. Uh, just cause I don't want to wrap my teeth out, but mm -hmm. yeah, no, sometimes, sometimes it's okay. You know, to have a 42 gram sugar cookie, it's, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, every, treat yeah, treat yourself every once in a blue, I don't know, like every month or so. That's what I'm trying to do for myself. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'll get yeah. A, like a cookie or a muffin for myself for, every month but i'm not gonna do it like 
when I was young. Yeah, I that's like a cheat day. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, when I was young, I was pounding sodas. That's probably why I had cavities. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> My parents were not good at like control. They're like, you can have all the sugar you want. I'm like, I, know. Got <laughs> I, I, I wish they told me like, no, you can't have that sweet. No, I like, know, so bad. And then my teeth ended up having so many fillings now. Mm -hmm. My teeth are okay now, but back then they were not, okay? Yeah. So yeah, just make sure, guys, take care of your teeth. <laughs> 32 grams of sugar uh, daily. Don't go any higher. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, man. But you know what? This is, this is so perfect for your uh, sandwich because I have soup. So this oh, is, shoot. This is like we're going to dip it in. Beef here, stew. hand it to me. All right, here. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it goes well right. with it. Mmm, <laughs> tastes like beef now. Yes. <laughs> mm. It is uh, soup weather. Crunch, crunch. It is soup weather for. It is soup weather here too. Yeah. I feel you. How cold is it? Mm, maybe like 60s, 70s. I don't know. My California friends in the chat probably you know <laughs> better than me. Oh, nice. Oh, same exact weather here. It's 53. No, 60 is cold for me. I get cold in 60. Ooh, I'm like, I have no body fat. Yeah. So I'm built like Waluigi. So I get, I get cold real fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I'm scared because I live in negative temps here in the Midwest <laughs> and it's not, no. it's not fun. I, I do get like uh, seasonal depression from it. So that's why I have to be surrounded by like, like, I think I have like special lights to surround me at my place and I always have to take vitamin D and just, Whenever, oh, for sure. I'm, I'm really lucky that my place is like all windows around here so I can just like open up all my blinds and all this I get direct sunlight that come in so I get that natural energy to that natural vitamin D which is really good <laughs> I, I, I need that because I, I don't think I, I only go out to go to your grocery store <laughs> other than that I'm like in a dark room <laughs> yeah oh uh, it's all so bad <laughs> it's always sunny out in the west coast so <laughs> It is. It's actually kind of gloomy right now, but yeah, usually. I went out to get boba yesterday, and it's surprisingly not busy uh, mm -hmm. to get boba. Usually it's really busy. Oh, nice. But uh, it was really gloomy. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys have, like, the best boba shops out there because uh, where I live, I think I was telling you guys that there's just not a lot of choices of food-wise to eat around my place and stuff even though i like i live in the cities but it's just kind of the same thing unless i like explore somewhere more further but you know i don't want to go more further but um <laughs> but yeah it's just but you guys have block after block after block of things yeah and i get california um really lucky yeah. with, with that kind of stuff <laughs> and i get like really low-key jealous because my, my cousins are just bragging about the food and all this stuff and it's me like <laughs> man i'm only here for like four days i wish i could have everything oh yeah <laughs> did you go to uh you went to like the the kearney kearney area where there's like a bunch of asian foods there like mm -hmm. japanese korean yeah I don't know if you went there. That's like the best area for food. Everyone I know always like whenever it's like, oh, we're going to go eat. It's always in that area. <laughs> yeah. And I, I never get sick of it. So there's always something new there to yeah. try for sure. I had a Korean barbecue over there uh, last week and it was really good because um, it's my first go to. Like whenever I go to California or anywhere in the West Coast, because the first thing. Where's the li where's the nearest Korean barbecue shop? <laughs> so oh, I can for eat. sure. <laughs> it's my favorite. There's because there's only one. My sister one. in NorCal, she doesn't have any Korean barbecue. It's like she she's like in the middle of nowhere, like Bakersfield, like uh, crap nowhere, and she's like always like whenever I go down, I need to get Korean barbecue. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Oh man, now I'm missing it so much. I think like the biggest withdrawals from Twitch was the food. Just kidding. The food. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no, the food is good here. <laughs> mm. I would have a withdrawal if I'd left the food here. Yeah. You know? I'd have I... to try to cook it myself, but then it's like, do you have like H Mart around you or anything like that? Uh, no. Um, I know, I know what that. That's a marketplace, right? Yeah, you could buy like Korean barbecue meats that are already pre-marinated, so you could cook it yourself at home and then get that experience, you know. But mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the only place I know to to buy it from. Yeah. Um, there's, there's this place that's maybe five, uh, 10 minutes away from us, for me. Uh, it's kind of like our Chinatown because they just have so many like different choices of food to eat because they have like Thai, mostly Vietnamese, 
um, they have a big like uh, Hmong community over there, so that's why um, a lot of the stuff are over there like mostly like uh, like Hmong owned or Vietnamese. So there's a lot of pho around here, just because it's cold. That's like the popular <laughs> dish. For sure. Yeah, sweet. So uh, Pixie, uh, what are the origins of your name? Like how the did origins you... of my name? Yeah, how did you come up with your oh, name, shoot. Pixie Die? I really like it. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, I think I think before I used to like I used to like dragons. I still like dragons a lot. So my my old name was like something dragon, and then I was mm. like, you know what? I don't know. I like always fantasy. There's like Final Fantasy, and there was like this like little creature called a self in Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. I really liked the little pixel art of it, so I always kept it around, uh, like in my files on my desktop and stuff. And I was just like, how how can I incorporate? You know, like I like the little pixie that's going on here, and so like, I came up with like pixie with that and then my name is Dai so I combine the two together so mostly the origin comes from the soap from Final Fantasy I think it's Final Fantasy 4 that has a soap mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong Rami knows which Final Fantasy has soap in it I think it's a summon I'm not sure mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember but that's basically where it came from the soap little like fairy people and I was like oh they're so cute <laughs> oh okay now I can tell from that okay that's awesome that's awesome um so I have a I have something to tell you and everybody else. I've never played a Final Fantasy game in oh, my no. life. Never. Wait, you're a retro streamer. Ah! I know. I'm I... exposing you. You're exposed. I know. You're exposed. You're exposed. Okay, I'm exposed. All right, everybody. You're uh, exposed. I've never, Final... <laughs> I've never played Final. I've never played Final Fantasy. He's not a game. retro streamer. I know. Everybody's like, you have never played Final Fantasy oh, in your life. I'm it's like, monotonous though. It's monotonous to replay as like. Uh, if you were to play it, if you were to play it now, you'd be like so annoyed at the random battles. Mm -hmm. But you could probably just like skim through them. But that's just the essence of the game, though, is the random battles. That's what annoyed me the most is random battles and grinding, which is like an old Pokemon and old Final Fantasy, and everyone was always annoyed at that stuff. So they mm -hmm. kind of removed it in future games. Like in the newer Pokemon's, they don't have random battles. Neither do the newer Final Fantasies. Oh. So uh, yeah, back. So it's really grindy if you're to go back, but. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's worth it, but it's like it's like sixty hours of content and gameplay. Yeah, and that's if you're going fast. Sixty hours, you could spend one hundred twenty. I had a file with one hundred twenty. <laughs> oh, really? Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could spend a long time on it. Yeah, yeah, because you know, like back in the days when you like, you know, when they had like, when that was like booming up, like around the PlayStation One era with all those, are they called like the genre for it? it's like jrpgs or just rpgs yeah. okay and um yeah everybody was like obsessed with it but for me i you know i i because i saw it all over like in magazines so like i've always seen cloud everywhere i know the music too but i've never like played like i'm like which one final fantasy is that from and stuff and till this day wait actually i purchased my very first uh final fantasy game I do plan to stream it. I'm I heard curious a lot, which one. <laughs> I heard a lot about this. It's probably FF7 Remake chat. It's FF7 Remake, isn't it? This is my first Final Fantasy game that I purchased. <laughs> <gasps> it's 10! No, yeah. 10 is so good. Yeah. We love 10. Yeah, so... 10 is great. So... That I, is a great one to start with if you're going to start with that. <laughs> yeah. So I saw a lot of people uh, been playing this on stream and stuff and on YouTube. And I was just like, you know what? I've heard about this. I've seen like... Uh, when I was in high school, everybody got this game, and I was just like, "No, oh, yeah. I'm gonna purchase it." I found this in a good price, and I'm like, "Oh, that game go. is content." No, you need to play that right away. That's like your first priority right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Your next stream oh. after this is Final Fantasy X. All right. Right, Grind. right after the podcast, guys, I'm just booting it right away. <laughs> <laughs> booting it up. <laughs> Deal. Oh my gosh. I just... A lot of my community loves FF10. We played it on stream. So oh yeah. Th they're uh. Yeah, they always say, ha, 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 ha. Nice. It's like the Titus laugh meme. <laughs> when did you guys uh, play that? Um, oh, God. Maybe like four months ago, five months ago, six months ago. A while back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, so it's recent. But I turned off like random battles because the newer version, you could like turn off random battles and make it like the game faster. Mm -hmm. So when I turned off random battles, I was like, oh, God, the game is so much faster. <laughs> yeah. should, so should I start with the OG or the newer? No, ten, 10 is a great one to start Maybe. with, really. 10 is ten is a good one. Okay. okay. I would cool. recommend starting with 10. Cool. 
yeah, that's gonna be yeah my first Final Fantasy. It game. depends what you're into, like, cause the older ones are like more medieval castle stuff. I kind of like that stuff. I always mm -hmm. like that stuff. I a big World of Warcraft player, oh, but then nice. the newer ones become more like modernish. That's why everyone liked Final Fantasy VII, cause it was like the first one to be more modern. Oh. And then eight was eight was kind of a copy of I don't know eight was trying to copy seven, but it kind of failed. <laughs> the oh. nine went back to castles and stuff, and then ten went back to the futuristic kind of thing okay. going on. Yeah, I, you know, I like a little bit of both, like with medieval yeah. or futuristic or anything like that. As long as it tells a really good story, because that's what really drives me in. And of course, yeah. music, music oh, and Oh, Final story. Fantasy is very good at a good story. FF10 is one of the best stories. I grew up with that stuff. When we played it, I almost cried because I was like, oh my God, it's so nostalgic. And, and it's so emotional to replay something I played like d a decade ago. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. If you could just yeah, have that like replay value and just like play a game over and over and again and you still get the feels out of it that's that's a best game yeah the cutscenes are still beautiful too i'm like why are these still good these hold up uh, over time because final fantasy has always been known for like to me when i was growing up as like the cgi masters like they were always like making cutscenes oh, yeah. that were insane mm -hmm. for the system so whenever final fantasy came out i was so excited to see like the next new cutscene and then playing ff10 over again i was like wait this cutscene still holds up mm -hmm. it still looks really good yeah <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter, like, what air you're in, because when you look at, like, when you go back to it, like, with games like that, you're just like, wow, you're still good. You're still good. Yeah, Logan. you're still good. You still hold up. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're still, still good. good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. I got, I'm more excited about FF10 than you are. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're... Like, 100%. So, like, because they made a remake of that, too. Is that, like, available for all consoles to get? Uh, like, the the... The 10, 10 and 10 2 remake. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like a remaster. It's on PC too. So, like, if you want to mod it, I modded it to make it look like really high res. <laughs> oh, nice. So, like, when I played it, I was like, this is what it looked like when I was a kid. Because ah, I saw that. You yeah. know what I mean? But, like, you know, when you replay it, you're like, oh. So, like, I, I played it with texture packs and all these mods, and it was really fun. Yeah. This is what I love about, like, you know, the internet these days because I. You're you're playing Legend of Zelda. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it Ocarina of Time? Or I think it was it Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. Okay, yeah. But um, when I saw your gameplay of it, it's like, whoa! It's really clear and super HD and stuff. And you told me about <laughs> the packs that you downloaded and stuff. And I'm like, man, this is so cool that you're able to do something like that in this, you know, this world. Like, if you're playing your favorite video game, you can like, you know just add like a few things like mod it and do all this and just yeah have it more it's fun it's like that's like what you you felt like it was when you were a kid too so it's like when you were a kid it was like groundbreaking graphics but then you play it as adult you're like wait a second <laughs> but putting in those mods really makes that experience like pop because you know that's what what you felt when you were a kid was these graphics being groundbreaking yoshi story was the one that i couldn't find a texture pack for and mm -hmm. it, it like the frames were like breaking and we were playing it i'm like this is so scuffed and i was like <laughs> i didn't realize how like scuffy yoshi story is yeah. i got so frustrated i was like oh my god we finished it though but i was like frustrated at the end of it i kept dying <laughs> oh man <laughs> i don't know if you ever played that game great great game uh I I don't know if it has replayability, but I really liked it as a kid, so I replayed it. Oh, Yoshi Story. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi Story. Uh, did you did you grow up with the N sixty four? Yeah, yeah, I grew up with the N sixty four. My parents like g gave it to me on Christmas, and we like opened that up. We had that uh, Super Mario sixty four one where it came with it. Oh. So it was a Nintendo 64 with Super Mario 64. Because I, I looked at the packaging recently and I was like, oh, that's the exact one I got. And so like we booted it up. I remember like getting the, the like see-through controller. And, and you're Filipino, right? So yeah. then we had this uh, Pondesal Ubes. And I'm eating oh. that while playing that Mario. <laughs> nice. It was a good time. <laughs> that's like one of my like fondest memories was like playing the water level with the ship. And then eating my Pondesal Ube and getting it all over my controller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's memories for me. <laughs> Mine's uh, Filipino spaghetti. My oh mom yeah. Used to kick it like, but I didn't have a play. Uh, what is it? N sixty four had a PlayStation, but I was the same way. I'm like, then like controllers, everything's dirty and stuff. I'm just like, yeah. I think I still have like maybe stains from some. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it happens. It happens. This, that's how you know you're a real gamer if you get yeah. like your little like dirt stains on your, yeah. your controller. Yeah, you don't care. You just you eat and you don't do intense like, like mom. Gaming. I don't want to eat when yeah, I'm playing games. That was me. <laughs> I don't want to eat. I never like wanted to eat as a kid. I'd always be like, no, I'm busy. <laughs> I don't know if you did that, but I did that all the time. <laughs> Oh, I, I was a hungry kid, so whenever my mom would make something, I'd just like run to the kitchen and just I eat really fast, so I can play uh, video games really fast. Oh I'm, god, I was like the opposite. I was a kid who like had like the plate, and then I put put like half of it on the plate. I said, "Mom, I ate half of it." Or something, <laughs> so I wanted to go play games. <laughs> but now I'm like a monster. I eat, I eat everything. <laughs> I know we we appreciate food now these days, you know right we 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 savor it we we love it we take pictures of it you know it's, it's, yeah now I, my palate's way better back then i was just eating white bread like with nothing and then i was eating like canned ravioli i don't know what was wrong with me my mom was making like these great home-cooked filipino meals and i'm here eating my ravioli <laughs> in the background that came from a can so uh, it's really funny it's funny you know because when <laughs> you're like what's wrong with you <laughs> oh when you're, when you're a kid you have favorite things like that like for me what did I like eating a lot? Even though like my mom would really like really good cook good food, I really like corned beef hash. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I I would always like that with rice. But my I'm like mom because my mom's like she she's like I made seen the gun, and she then I'm like no I want corned beef in the can. <laughs> <laughs> corned beef, give me corned beef. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, totally, totally. Uh, similar. With me, mm -hmm. I used to like those frozen foods too, like those like fifty cent banquet ones. I'm like, what am I doing? Now that I look back at it, I'm like, my palate was so wrong as a kid. But yeah. kids' palates are so weird. They like eat, they'll like mix candy with whatever. Oh, I don't yeah. even know anymore. You'll make, you'll mix we eat those everything. like sour. Remember those sour uh, mints that people used to eat in like high school, the icebreakers, and they mm. stick them in their mouths and they would chew them, and then your tongue would be like all burnt from them. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember that. Everybody used to have oh, those God. like icebreakers. They're like, yeah, you want an icebreaker or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like candy. It's not. It's not a mint. It's candy. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want an icebreaker? We're cool. Yeah, it's like a cool thing. It's like, look at us. We're eating icebreakers. Mm -hmm. Warheads too. It's like, look at us. Warheads. Warheads. Oh my gosh. Did you? Did you have surge? Too. It's like similar. Surge. To, I'm gonna like, look it up. It's like Mountain Dew. I don't think so. Okay. No, I would probably drink it though, cause I was super into those lime lemon drinks. That was a a two thousand thing. Like my gosh, they they loved that. Like that surge drink, I used to have it a lot, and I just like play like I'd just be up all night playing like PlayStation One <laughs> games and stuff. It, yeah, that was like really popular. It says it's back. I'm looking at it. It says the legendary Surge is back. Yeah. They they sell it at some, like, retro video game stores. Like, wow. I, I've seen it before. I'm like... I think I've seen this label, but I don't think I've ever seen it in person. Yeah. It's so... I drink it. As a kid, yeah. I would drink oh, yeah. out of this. <laughs> very, 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 very sugary. Really bad for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Soda's super bad. Mm-hmm. I just remember getting those, and that was like I think the last time I've had them was like when I was a kid. That when they started to get it back, I'm like, mm -mm, can't do it. Don't drink it. Mm -mm, nope, nope. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's never good. It's never as good as the first time, anyways. Mm -hmm. So can't relive the past. People yeah. think that you could, you can with nostalgic stuff, but it's really hard. Nope. Too, in my opinion. Yeah, when you get older, they those those things don't appreciate you anymore. Even if you want to like drink something or like eat something, like. Oh no, it's hurting me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But for the nostalgia. <laughs> awesome. Let's see here. Let's see. Frosted tips and icebreakers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not gonna lie, I was one of those uh I was one of those peeps that had frosted tips in my hair. <laughs> I didn't I think I um I don't know. I was actually really bullied growing up, believe it or not. Know for the way I looked mm -hmm. and I, I used to wear like a really baggy jacket yeah there was only one Asian kid in the back of the class who never wanted to answer questions and then everyone else thought you were smart because you weren't talking I was that Asian kid with like black jacket black hoodie mm -hmm. like always never talking never never answering things just just like you know minding my own business in the back of the class <laughs> yep I feel you I'm the same way I just like just did my own thing and but they always wanted to call up on me I'm just like 
I just want to do my I get my nervous. Homework. I'd, like, yeah. freeze. <laughs> yeah, I, I get, like, anxiety from that. I was just like, uh, they're like, hey, answer this and this and that. I'm like, but my voice was just like, like, they couldn't hear. They're like, you know, speak up. Yeah, yeah, same. I'm it's like, funny it's funny now because we're like both like really social people and so like we don't have anxiety like that when we talk to people mm -hmm. at least like sometimes i mean i i if it's like a professional talk i get kind of nervous but like if it's like some like friend that we're meeting that like someone new like mm -hmm. when i met you it's not gonna make me nervous i'm like oh yeah that's a friend you know yeah yeah that's the same way and too because um i don't know i wasn't much of a big public speaker until uh, college, actually, because college kind of like forced me to talk because I always had to present my work because I went to art school. And, college, they were way chiller too. Yeah, and I appreciate that because they like they're you know they want you to be yourself when you do stuff like that. So I'll right. just you know presenting my stuff and you know I would just like I don't know mumble a few things, but they understood me still. And I'm like okay, I'm getting used to it and used to it. Then when I started working at my jobs, I had to do stuff like that. Then, I don't know, I just kind of got used to it. I don't mind. I, I actually wouldn't mind speaking like at a TED talk one day. I would love it. I'd just do it how I want to do it, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think like the, the most like unrehearsed speeches too are the best because it's like you really, really know your stuff if you're like, if you don't have a script going. So like stuff like when I talk about design, I never like go into meetings like with like, oh, here's my agenda. I just go into meetings and be like, here you go. This is my design. <laughs> and then it usually goes well. Nice. <laughs> so that's how it goes. Yeah. This but, is what but I mean. I, I used to be scared. Yeah. This is, you know, like, I mean, watch the show Hannibal. He's like, this is my design. That's me. <laughs> he's like, he's like, this is my design. But he's like thinking about killing. So that is totally different. Uh -uh. But I just like to meme about it. Yeah. yeah he's like, a, he's like thinking about murder. This is my design. My, my killing design. And then that, that's how I like present. This is my design. Uh, no, no. But yeah, public speaking was scary for me. Mm -hmm. before yeah uh like when when i do stuff like that i i you know of course i'm sure everybody gets nervous because if you're nervous you care about what you're going to be presenting and stuff because that's what i do yeah i think people get more nervous than they think they are because usually oh every interview i've had i'm always nervous and i always get like i get nervous gas <laughs> really quick and i've been late to meetings because i've got that nervous gas it's coming out really yeah, quick out. So I'm, I'm running i'm running to know that whip come on hi how are you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it happens you know you yeah. have to get it out it's whatever helps you feel less nervous yeah. and that's how but it like rises up right before the meeting it's so annoying it's so like, it's like, it's like ah! no don't do it <laughs> And then, yeah, no, sometimes I, there's times where I ignored it and I was just like, maybe it will go away. And so once the meeting starts, it usually goes away. So I'm like, okay, okay, this is just like my body telling me that I'm nervous. Yeah. They're like, hey, it's all good. You don't need to do it anyway. It's all good. I'll just give you gas really quick. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it'll go away. <laughs> oh, man. That's my biggest fear, I think. If I had like gas going in. I think usually, like, I always have to go to the bathroom. Like, I have to go, like, you know, like, the, like number one or something because i'm just always so nervous like dang i shouldn't have drank a lot of water because that's what i do i drink just drink a lot of yeah. like water going in i'm like oh god i always have to go to the bathroom of interviews and my palms are like sweating and stuff <laughs> yeah so i just always have to like just do like uh hand exercise i bet once you go in there you nail it yeah. i bet you do because uh, cause i i usually do unless unless they're really scary there's been times where like they're really scary and i just didn't want to be there so i didn't really nail the interview because i didn't want to be there anyway yeah. they're scary <laughs> like um i don't know if you feel like this when you talk to people but i feel off people's aura if they're gonna like if yeah. they're gonna be like good like if they're gonna like a good person or whatnot once they like start conversating with me and it gets really comfortable like for me i'll start to like open up and just kind of like be myself like for my interviews when i did stuff like they just like look at my work and when they start like oh my gosh this is really cool and this is where my character comes in like i'm like all right let's go let's do this and i'm just like let's go my work here yeah. blah 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 this and that and that, that, that and they you know i just keep on talking and stuff because yeah yeah you know, I'm just like, you know what? I feel off these people. Maybe I do want to work here. They seem really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it yeah, exactly works out like that.
and stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So if they're like, there's been times where it's like they had no energy at all, and I'm like, oh my god, this makes me even more nervous. <laughs> I know. They like, oh my gosh. Do you have any? I just want to leave. I I just like, do you have any stories? Yeah, like, do, what what's your like worst uh, interview you've ever had? Like your experience? Oh, okay. I there's a few, but there was this one where it was uh, cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy, he was just like interviewing and he was just like, oh yeah, I'm like the developer, but I'm also the designer. He kept talking about himself, mm -hmm. like in such an egotistic way. He's uh, like, I'm not looking for a shitty designer. I'm looking for someone who could like carry the team. Like I've carried the team. I'm like the designer and the developer. I was like, oh my God, chill out. I want to hang up. <laughs> so that was like the worst one. Cause I just don't like when people have an ego. It's it's great to be proud of what you're into and and. And he, he should have delivered himself better, like say like, oh yeah, even though I'm a developer, I'm designing, I uh, really enjoy my designs, but looking for a designer who could elevate us. Yeah. And then I'd be like, oh, okay. But he was like all egotistic. I'm not looking for a shitty designer. I was like, whoa, bro. Oh, I'm about to hang up. Yeah. <laughs> It's so awkward. I was like, what kind of ego do you, does he have? Yeah. So that was one of the worst, I would say. Yeah, that's not that's not a good experience or anything. That's it's... no, no. I, I should have hung up. To be next time if that if that ever happens, I'm just gonna hang up. What do I have to lose? I don't want to talk anymore, anyways. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, cause I I felt like yeah, I've been in a similar situation to you, but it was in person when I did it. And oh no! <laughs> it was just like for this like uh, marketing design position, and this dude comes in, and uh, I'm like waiting in there because they're. For some reason, they didn't have a receptionist or anything at the front, so I didn't know where to go. So I go in, and I was just waiting, and he's like, the first thing he asked, he's like, why are you effing late? And I'm like, I'm like, what? I was just like... No way. I'm just like... I walk away. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, like, you know, I'm so young, you know, this is like kind of like I'm trying to find like jobs for full time and stuff. So I was like desperate. I would work anywhere just to get like money experience and stuff. But it's just like, what? This guy's going to talk to me like that? And wow. It, yeah. Yeah. And he just, hella rude. then he just like, then he was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. That was for the other candidate that did come here. And I'm just like, I was like, this was supposed to be like, I, cause I was telling him like, you so, talk to, I, it's like you talk to candidates like that, yeah. sir? <laughs> That's what I'd say. He was like, oh, you're the different one. I'm just like, Oh, okay. yeah, you're not the one I wanted to cuss out. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, it's it's weird, because when you're, like, when I was in there, he, uh, I was just like, kind of wanted to leave after that, but I was, like, explaining my right. portfolio and stuff. He really, like, liked me, and he wanted to uh, bring me in. And, and I think, like, I went in to, like, try out for the job. Like, I just went in there and, like, had my first day and I left. <laughs> I didn't come back the other day <laughs> just because I didn't like the vibes or anything. I was like, Oh, uh, I mean, that's fair. I'm like, I know I my worth. Either. I know my worth. I ain't yeah, going I know there. my worth. I, I, I just don't want to work with people that I don't feel my, like I get, I don't really want to be friends with my coworkers. That's like not a thing. Like, I, but I want to have a, be able to have like a friendly relationship with them and work with them in harmony. Mm -hmm. Um, so like if I don't get that vibe that I can't be myself, that's I'm really big about being myself. And I always say that in an interview, I'm myself. I talk to the the people I work with the same way I talk to you. Mm -hmm. uh, probably less memes, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> more of the same. Yeah. Um. So I'm really big on that, and I know a lot of workplaces don't have that. But what's cool about I think this year in time with workplaces is that they really like to support their employee nowadays. So uh, if you have a complaint about a place, uh, complain your heart out. But but back then it was like, oh, I don't want to complain because I don't want to get like, you know, I don't want to get fired. I don't mm -hmm. want to have to find a new job. But now, like, since like, I think COVID and remote, it's like, oh, these workplaces take us like crap. Let's call them out. And yeah, and I love that because uh, people didn't have a voice before and didn't want to stand up like that before. Mm -hmm. And now they can. <laughs> yeah, it's really important to have something like that in the work environment and stuff because People can say, you know, I think it's very like when when they say like, oh, we're we're family. You get that a lot from workplaces and stuff. Yeah, we're this family. When, when you say, a... oh my god, oh god, that that oh, that reminds me of an interview where she was like, she was like, yeah, we're big on culture. I'm just gonna have a culture call with you, and she's like, we have like these book study uh, weekends that we call each other and we talk about like. Uh, the latest book where I'm like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No, I'm out. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is weird. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> it got like really weird. 
Yeah, because, you know, my perspective, I'm the same thing too. I want to be friendly, but I'm not here to be your best friend. I'm here to do my job <laughs> and just yeah. do the big... Like, I want rewarding work with passionate people. That's fun. I don't need your ping pong table at all. Yeah. I just need those three aspects. Mm -hmm. Like, I really do my best. I do it, like, in a professional way if they want to, like, hang out and, like, have drinks and stuff like that. And I'm just like, nah, I, I have something to do. Like, legit, I have to... Do all but my if stuff the company pays for the dinner, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hey, is the food like is my is, is the, the manager? Food paid doing for? It? I'm on. All right, I'll I'll go. Like I was like, okay, I'll go for like 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna head out. Yeah, eat my food and then leave. Yeah, I always kind of like have a plan if that stuff is going. It's like no offense right, enough because yeah. you know they've been working together for like maybe for like 15 years, but for me, I'm just relatively new, and I just don't want to just like. Just I think just any workplace because I'm really comfortable just being with people I'm surrounded with. I prefer that. Um, I just prefer you know stuff like this. What I do, like things that that I enjoy. I don't want to go in and they're just complaining about what happened today at work and I'm like, oh, yeah, gosh, that's like something you keep up. to yourself, <laughs> yeah. or that's something you tell your significant other, not like your other coworkers. Yeah, I mean, if you're talking about that with the other coworkers, it may be a huge problem. So maybe you should bring it up. Yeah, uh, it's, it. Yeah, it gets too personal and stuff. I don't like anything too personal. Yeah, like, why, I don't. Why you tell no. me? I don't want to be involved. I just want to do my thing and go home and. Uh, He's like, I don't care about your kids. Sorry, it's cute, <laughs> but I don't care. I know. I know, <laughs> the kid thing is like too much. It's like I don't, I don't care about no babies. <laughs> I know. I was like, I, I don't have nothing to relate and stuff because I, I just remember. Yeah, yeah. Show. I was like, just show me a peepo and then I'll, I'll, I'll respond. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just remember like maybe uh, my last job because most all my uh, employees like uh, my coworkers had kids and stuff. They would be talking about them and stuff. And I just remember I was like their one of their therapists and I would just like listen because I am a listener no. and I listen to people. <laughs> I, I'm I'm kind like that. And the, the person is like, yeah, this and that. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, this is the thing I tell them. Like. So are you telling me I shouldn't have kids in the near future? <laughs> How you're reacting? And he was just like, uh, no, I'm just saying they're really hard. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm nah, like, he didn't want to admit it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, I, I, I just, I'm like, man, well, I'm just living my life, you know? And I'm going to continue yeah. to live my life as long as I want. <laughs> you do what you want, yeah. you know? Yep, they have to do you, and that's what they're doing. Yeah, I feel like as soon as you have kids, it's like they have to be your number one. So oh, yeah. if, if you don't want to give up you being your number one, which is me, I don't want to give up me being my number one. You, you have kids when you want to give that up, and you're, like, satisfied. But mm -hmm. um, if you're not, yeah. you know, why, why hate on that? A lot of people would be like, why haven't you shared family yet to, like, uh, like uh, I think us, like, in our, like, almost 30s or like 20s to 30s they're always mm -hmm. like why aren't you married yet to our family i'm like why don't you condone like my single success you know <laughs> like yeah. my you know i'm like this is so annoying <laughs> yeah I, I i'm like really like open about it when people like ask me about that i'm like i'm happy i'm yeah the as long as you're happy you celebrate been. that like i always tell them like yeah i'm happy like i'm you know i'm doing my thing you know if there's something wrong i get help for it and you know, I'm just loving myself a lot more than that when I was, like, with somebody and stuff. That's how I feel. And the thing is, like, when I'm, like, fully there, then I'm I'm ready. But I'm just living my life, just having, yeah. like, the greatest time ever. I think it's ever. a society standard that they always ask that. It's always, like, boomers and older people asking you that. So it's like It's like, all right. <laughs> I know. It's just, like... You know. It's like, why can't I girl boss? Like, yeah. I'm out here girl bossing and I just want to continue it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a, you know that's why i love the you know new generation of like us and stuff because you know a lot of uh people out there you know just just want to you know be able to live what they want to do in their lives and you know of course like there's gonna like boomers you know especially like when i talk to my parents i just tell them straight up and they listen and i'm i'm really happy about that because i'm just like if I want to be successful, that what I'm doing, I have to do all these things. And I'm like, I cannot take care of a kid and I cannot do this right now because that would stress the hell out of them the most. And that would stress, you know, of course me, but I'm thinking about them, you know, a lot because I'm just like, I don't want to bring that anxiety into them, 
you know? Right. Because I want to have, a, like, a better mindset, like, if I'm, like, you know, ready or something like that. But, you know, For sure. right now is the now. And that's what we're focused on. Yeah, right on. now it's like, I don't even know what to do with my life. Let me la la la. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as long as I'm happy, it's it's all right. As long as I have my boba every day, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> boba? Pretty happy with the boba. Oh, boba solves all your problems. Just get get some good boba and I trust me, your problems will all go away. What, no joke. What, what's your favorite boba <laughs> flavor? Uh, I like the slushies. So, so I always oh. go for like a strawberry slushy with like pop and boba in it or like... I had a mango one the other day, but it had too much. It had too much fruit for me. Yeah. It had like a uh, the boba and the fruit slices in it, so most of it was half of it was like a bunch of fruit. So I'm like, no, that's too much. Oh, okay, yeah, those are. So but good. yeah, I do like the slushy, but sometimes it doesn't work out having like boba and the slushy. It's kind of weird. It works out with the popping boba, but with the yeah. bigger ones, mm -hmm. it's like it's like weird. It kind of gets hard. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. What about you? Uh, mango, of course. Mango is oh, my, yeah, my mango. to go to. It's just not, there's not a lot of like, you know, fresh like mango flavors where I live. But... Have you ever had a mango lassie like from like an Indian place? Oh no, what's that? Oh, oh, it's like a mango puree drink, like smoothie. Oh, so good. If you if you like like pure mango, which I'm sure you do, because mm -hmm. we're Filipino, who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, that that drink is so good. A mango lassie. Oh my god. Okay. Next I, time you ever go to any place, order a mango lassi and you won't regret it. Okay. I'm going to, yeah, look it up and stuff. I, I really want to. <laughs> it's just like a very puree type of drink. It is like a smoothie, but not really. More like a puree. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Any, I'm addicted. A, yeah. Anything with mangoes. Oh, it's my, one of my favorite fruits ever. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. We, we got a few people that are in here. I'll greet real quick. Um, yeah. I can, I can, go ahead and catch up. I'll yeah, eat the sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah go eat. Phone guy, ah. how's it going? And I saw A Games, hey guys, legendary cat man, Meowzical, uh, Odd Bandicoot. Oh my gosh, thank you guys for stopping in and just listening to this like awesome podcast. I'll just give you guys like a brief what's going on. So I usually do these every month. Uh, my special guest here is Pixie Die, and she's eating a sandwich, a really good sandwich. And we're just like talking about, you know, just so far we've talked about like, you know, Final Fantasy uh bad interviews and bad interviews. uh boba and food and so far yeah <laughs> sweet so got a lot more coming yeah yeah a lot more <laughs> i could coming. talk forever if you were like let's have a 24 hour podcast with pixie i would be like let's go no this is <laughs> i might use the bathroom and then eat dinner but i can talk forever <laughs> no i i could we could probably go to like this forever because you know, like, it's crazy how time is going by so fast because I'm just looking at yeah, my clock right yeah. now. I'm just like, man, I'm just thinking about, we could probably go on for like four or five hours. But we, have, we, but we have a time limit, unfortunately. But no, it's no worries, yeah. no worries. But um, you, you're an amazing cosplayer. Um, oh, thanks. I, it was uh, Chill Vibes uh, Worldwide that consists of Dusty and Shell. They rated over to you. I believe, and I was part of that raid, and you were cosplaying. Um, I forgot what character you were, at, but at the raid, I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Oh, what was I cos? I haven't cosplayed on stream. I think in you a were playing Re Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. So maybe hmm. it might have been a Valorant cosplay. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, those are the two I I remember cosplaying on stream. Uh huh. But oh my gosh, when she was just like, you introduce yourself, you're like, hey everybody, my name's Pixie, I'm a cosplayer, you know, you could like check oh, out my Oh, it's my birthday! That was so long ago! Yeah. Oh my god! It's been that long? That's yeah. like almost like a year and a half ago, yeah. I think. I think, yeah, I met yeah, you Yeah, it's my birthday! I, I was like, I was like crying because when people raided me, I was like, I was drinking a little, so I was like overwhelmed. Yeah, aww. <laughs> But yeah, it was so cool. Guys, if you have not checked out, I'm going to just uh, put it down. I'm going to put it down on my phone. She does have a command here. So if you guys want to give her a follow an IG or her um, Twitch, uh, feel free to. But she has numerous amazing cosplays. Like you've done like Morgan from Darkstalker. You did Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z. You did Princess Zelda. You did M. Bison. My gosh, like, how did you get into um, uh, cosplaying? Okay, so for sure. Uh, 
I feel like my cousin was a big gateway into like the nerd community because she got me into like World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. But she also had like uh, her dad was like super into games and super into culture. So, but I was like, I was also into games and stuff. But my parents weren't like, oh yeah, we're not gonna spend extra money to like go places to like look at games or stuff like that, like conventions and stuff. Mm -hmm. So in 2003, I think this is a very long time ago. I, I don't know how old I was. I was ba I was like little, very little. Mm -hmm. uh, the, my uncle and my two cousins and my sister, they're all like, we're going to the state of Comic-Con. And I'm like, I don't even know what that is. Let's go. Because I could walk in for free because I was like a little baby, little little yeah. tiny pixie. He's like, oh. hi. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Adorbs. So like, yeah, I, I walked in. I walked in. I, and I still have the badge for it. Oh. And I walked in and they, they just were like, it's free. And I remember it's, it's empty because this is like Comic-Con 2003 before Twilight and Robert Patterson and mm -hmm. his glowing skin. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I walked into it and I'm like, this exists. And uh, we walked around and I was just shocked because I was like super into Final Fantasy and there was actually a lot of Final Fantasy merch there, mm -hmm. like Squall's necklace, uh, Cloud's like Buster Sword stuff, stuff like that, like jewelry, card games. And I was like, oh, this exists. This, this like people sell this stuff because it was it was all new to me because it was kind of ostracized as a kid. Right. Like when we grew up, nerd culture wasn't really that prominent. It was mm -hmm. more like hidden. When you liked it, it was more like not as cool yep. anymore like nowadays when you say you like anime it's like common you know when you mm. say you like video games it's common yep. but back then it was not common so you kind of like kept it yourself until like the, the neighborhood kid was like i play games too and you're like oh <laughs> you know so yeah i went into comic con and i'm like this is so cool um i, I remember i like bought like this little chocobo i still have it somewhere but there was this girl cosplaying link i remember there's people cosplaying and this is back when like um, cosplay was like cardboard boxes and like, like not very like mm. polished and mm -hmm. stuff but everyone went crazy for it like they'd see people in cardboard boxes and be like oh my god can I have a picture and they'd go crazy there'd be like a whole like group taking a picture kind of like today when someone has like a super elaborate cosplay but back then it was right. just cardboard boxes and like stuff like that so they, everyone thought it was really cool and I was like you can do this you can dress up as your favorite character because I loved pretend I loved Halloween I loved all that stuff like, some of my favorite games to play as a kid was, like, playing pretend. Like, I pretended I was Gohan and I comic on my ha, my, my, my cousins. <laughs> oh, nice. But I don't know. I had, like, fun doing that and playing pretend. But there was this girl specifically cosplaying as Link, and she had the most elaborate Link cosplay. And this is 2003. Oh. I remember her name was Pikmin Link. Uh, I think her name is, like, Lee Kovacs now. Uh-huh. But she had, like, the most elaborate, like, chainmail Link cosplay, a wig. Like, she just looked like Link. And I was like, oh, my God. that, that That's Link. Like, how is that possible, you know? Yeah. How, how does this person look exactly like Link? And I was freaking out. I actually freaked out so much. I didn't even ask her for a picture. And so, like, I, I, like found out about her online there was a thing called cosplay.com and yep. i was like oh my god that's the link we saw and i messaged her on a forum i said i think i saw you at comic con but i was too shy and then she replied and i almost cried all right <laughs> but yeah no there's pikmin link and she was just this twilight princess link maybe that's like 2006 mm -hmm. that might have been 2006 but that really inspired me because i was like whoa you can dress up as your favorite characters like that and then look like insane and cool and stuff like that right and so i i, I just followed her on back before instagram there's cosplay.com a very old site, I think it's still up, uh, where you could see people's cosplay progress and their photos and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I just follow her and look at that for a long time. So I was like a huge lurker in the cosplay community. Um, I never really said anything, but just looked at people's photos and thought it was really cool. Uh, it took me like a decade to have the confidence to try to do cosplay. Yeah. So then um, I think the f I went to Anime Expo with like my sister and her boyfriend at the time and his friends. This was 2008, my first Anime Expo. And then I, I saw, like, more of what I was seeing with, like, Pikmin Link and stuff. And I was like, whoa, you know? And I was, I was like, really into it. And I said, I want to do this. Like, I really want to do this. But it took years. I was, like, spending years. I had, like, a lot of self-confidence issues. I was, like, in high school, yeah. middle school. I was bullied for the way I looked. And I, I don't think it's, like, surprising, but I was, I was really bullied. I had, like, low self-confidence. So I didn't really want to, like, do it. I was just, like, lurking and, and looking at it from the side. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no. And then... I think one year of Anime Expo, I, I was just like, let's just do like something simple like Poison Ivy. And so I got a Poison Ivy costume together with what little money I had yeah. at 17. And we cosplayed Poison Ivy and then people were really nice. And I was like, whoa, you know, this is cool. And then people were like, you have an Instagram, you have this. I was like, no, <laughs> I didn't have any of that. <laughs>
And so that, yeah, that's how I got I got started. Um, before that, I was trying to test different costumes. I made a Silent Hill costume. I never wore mm -hmm. the Silent Hill nurse. I like made it for Halloween and then I never wore it because I didn't have a confidence yeah. and I was like 15 or something. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, Poison Ivy was my first, and then we moved to Black Cat, and then it was all uphill from there. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. Yeah, that that dates a long time because. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been a while. It took me a while to get the confidence to be like, hey, I want to try to do this, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I didn't even know that existed back in, like, 2003. Because you were right. Yeah. Uh, when you, you're you a big, like, lover of, like, video games and stuff, you know, it's it's crazy that people didn't like you for liking that. <laughs> I, I was, like, that person. But, you know, I was very expressive about it, but... The thing is, like, they just like, oh, you like this and that. And I'm like, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Oh, I went to, like, I don't know. I went to, I guess I don't want to say this. I went to, like, an all-white school. So, like, they were, like, Me very. Too. Okay, okay. I was like, am I allowed to say that? I went to all-white school, so it's hard, it's hard to fit in yeah. as a Filipino. Like, oh, I'm yeah. one of two Filipinos. <laughs> oh, you got raided. Welcome! <gasps> Who raided? Oh, it's Pollock! Hey! Welcome in, guys. Welcome, raiders. Hello, hello. I'm uh, D Red Punks, and this is my guest. Oh, no, here. they came in when I said all white. <laughs> 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 oh, no! <laughs> I'm caught. No, no. But, yeah, because I'm the same way. Um, Grew up all white uh, neighborhood. I think it was just me and my brother, Dusty, were the only Asians there. Uh, well, Filipinos and stuff, so it was just like, huh. Because I grew up in the cities, so it was so diverse and stuff. And when we moved out to the suburbs, I'm like, huh. Yeah, in all right the, school. Where, where's all the other kids? <laughs> where, where the, the, I was like, like what's Filipino? I was like, what's Filipino? When I was filling out those like little tests that you had to fill out your race, I was like, what's Filipino? I started to, trying to understand my own race at the time because I was like, there's no one Filipino here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but yeah, man. welcome in, everybody. Yes, welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, so yeah, since everybody's new here, if you don't know who I am, like, I'll introduce myself again. Sorry, that wasn't a proper introduction, but my name is D-Rap Punks, retro video gamer and artista here, and I usually do these podcasts every month, and my special guest today is Pixie Dai, uh, amazing cosplayer and, um, streamer and artist. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, you have that in the back of that. Oh, cool. yeah, the Pepe, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna hold this. I, I love this. I was like, oh god, at Anime Expo, this sold out. They were selling this at Anime Expo, uh -huh. and then they were like, you coming to TwitchCon? I was like, yeah, I'm coming to TwitchCon, and I'm gonna buy this, like, right away. And this is my dad, the first day I went, I was like, I'm buying this, and it sold out the second day. Ah, uh, nice. I, I was able to get, like, a custom one. Oh, you have that, so, your name on the back? Nice. Yeah, with my name on it, yeah, so. Nice. Here he is, safe at my house. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I was like, I need this in my life. <laughs> I wish I had one. Like, oh, you should have got one before they sold out. <laughs> I know, but it's so hard to fit things in your bag last week because I, oh, yeah, I couldn't true. buy everything. I really wanted to. You would have to hold this on the plane like this. I know. I wouldn't <laughs> care. I'm like, you guys got a problem? Yeah, you do it. Yeah, you guys got a problem with my stuff animals? Yeah. You guys you got a problem? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm not embarrassed of anything. Like, when, when people... I don't know. Like, I can be loud and laugh hard in public, and like, I'm just like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't cosplay in public. I was like, who cares? So these people don't know me. Oh, <laughs> I man. live my life. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh! Thank you for so much for the thirty bits. It is. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's you know that's what I do now. Like, if I'm going anywhere, I'm just like, I just want to dress how I want to dress, bring the stuff that I want to bring, um, because I just remembered, like. For example, it was just like wearing like a Dragon Ball Z shirt. Like everything was like decked out with just like what I have. And the coolest thing too, like, you know, having tattoos, but um, but being expressive about them a lot because, you know, that's what represents me, who I am. You know, when it, people see these, they're just like, huh, interesting. They're just like, is this from video games? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Is it all games? Yeah. It's all I, games. I think I didn't get to see it. Okay. I don't. What were you wearing when I saw you? I was like, I don't think I saw you. Oh, yeah. I, I was wearing a long sleeve at, <laughs> oh, uh, last okay. week and stuff. But... I have one tattoo, mm -hmm. but like, I don't even know if I regret it. Let's see if I can show it. Is it a neck tattoo? I don't know if you saw it. It's yeah. a dragon. Oh, a dragon. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's all I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, because, um, 
Yeah, they're all video game related. I don't know if you can see it. Nice. And stuff. So it's like. Oh, for sure. I'll have like most all this sleeved up. Yeah, Asai is a big Kingdom Hearts fan, like your Kingdom Hearts tattoo. Oh yeah, yeah. Somebody came up from the airport because I think they went to TwitchCon when I was going home, and I was just like seeing my my own business, eating some food. Now some this uh, some person taps me. She's like, "Hey." I really love your Kingdom Hearts tattoo. I'm like, oh, I'm like, hey, oh, yo. oh, thank you. I was like, I really appreciate it. I'm like, what's your favorite? You know? And she just said, uh, three was one of her favorites. Then I told her like one was my favorite. And I was like, oh man, this is so cool. And I like that. I want people to be able to see like, you know, for the person who you are. So I'm like, when I walk around like this, that's why I love summer because, you know, I'm wearing t-shirts and they get to see all this and they're just like, that's yeah, that's kind of like how cosplay is. So mm -hmm. like, uh, I I want to think of like an obscure cosplay. I, I did like um I mean I did Reptalia. It's not like super obscure, but Reptalia from Shield Hero. Mm -hmm. Um, when I see that people like love that character and they're like, the, everyone's like, look at the figure I bought. It's a Reptalia. I'm like, oh, I'd buy that. <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. It was it was super nice because I'm like, oh wow, I didn't know how many people like connected with this character. Because I usually cosplay characters I connect with, and Raptalia is like one of the yeah. characters I connected with because she's like loyal, she's strong. I love I love a woman with a sword. <laughs> so, so any any girl with a sword that's mm -hmm. from a game or an anime, I'm always like I'm I'm gonna cosplay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's really cool to see like uh, to connect with those types of people because if they like something similar to that, they probably have something similar to you personality oh, yeah. wise. Yeah, it's a lot of meaning to it, which is pretty cool, which I love because I'm relatively new getting into like cosplaying and just like, you know, DIYing like some of the stuff I've, you know, been making. So you're, you're like, like when I first like met you, um, um, then like when I followed you like on your socials and stuff and just seeing your like cosplay like outfits and whatnot, then you when you're streaming, you're, you know, you you do 3D, right? 3D printing? 3D art? Yeah. Oh, 3D printing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't print it myself, but I get it printed by other people. And yeah. then I, I do the rest yep. <laughs> after that. Yeah. So it's cool, like, being able to see that, like, you know, behind the scenes, like, because, you, you know, I, I believe you were getting ready for a con that you're going to, and you're showing us kind of like the step by step, like, you know, I, I got this printed, I'm going to be painting this, showing this because it's going to go like with my outfit that I have. And, you know, that's very, you know, inspirational. Like, that's that's really cool because um, I, I I really love when people do behind the scenes stuff like that. Because yeah. you, you never know who's watching because maybe somebody wants to get into cosplay. And they're like, oh my gosh, look at what Pixie's doing. I never thought you could do something like that. Then, you know, probably the next day they're doing the same thing like you because they, you know, right. they got like inspired and motivated and stuff. And I think that's like... One of the coolest things about like you know this community, especially the cosplay community, everybody there is just so, you know, awesome. Like I, I think my first one was twenty twenty. That was my first event that I went to before the pandemic happened and stuff. And like um, like I was really proud because I did like a future trunks one, future trunks from Dragon Ball nice, Super. Nice, nice. And like. I just like got something off like you know like goodwill and, <laughs> and I was just like I'm gonna make something out of this and I was like oh shoot oh. raided <laughs> yeah oh what we are what? here <laughs> oh my god Jexy thank you so much for the raid welcome everybody hi hi if you guys don't know who I am my name is D Red Punks retro video gamer artista here but uh, we are doing lunch with a friendo and we, our special guest here is uh, Pixie Die. She's a cosplayer, a designer. <laughs> I don't know how to bow. I'll just wave, wave. Yeah, yeah just wave. And then once it's individual, you go like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I didn't know individuals oh like this. <laughs> oh, so this, is, this is a group. This yeah. is individual. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is for the group, everybody. Hello. And then this is this is like a group. Hi, Ram. <laughs> this is hi, Ram. <laughs> <laughs> this is all right. Hi, Tickle. <laughs> okay, I'll do that now. I'm, I'm going to adopt that, and I'll give you credit for it, all right? When somebody yeah, don't comes give in. me credit. Take it. Just uh, take it. Okay. Like, this is a D-Rad special. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I saw you at the Wendy's booth. Did you? Oh, my gosh. Hello. Let's see. It's good to see you again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack C was with me. He was a uh, part, like, uh, when you guys met up with J uh, um, RBZ. Yeah, I was, like, dying in sleep. I was like this. <laughs> it's like Sunday, I was like, 
<laughs> I was so tired. Yeah. But yeah, now I have my energy back. I've recovered from TwitchCon. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think my legs really hurt from uh TwitchCon. Oh, I got like I like scabbed my foot. Like I wore I wore like uh mid Jordans the second day mm -hmm. and like I didn't wear high socks and so like the mids were like just scraping my ankle and then uh, my ankle was bleeding. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what? I was like, alright, next time I'm not gonna wear uh Jordans to to a freaking god. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, cause I felt like I had like a bruise because it's I kind of still feel it or something. I don't know. Maybe the that. floor wasn't that comfortable. I don't know because I usually don't have like feet problem at conventions, but yeah. that specific one, I don't know. Like I hurt. I was hurting. I know. I don't know what they put in there and stuff, but that that hurt. Like... They put in what was in the foam pit in there. <laughs> I know. Whatever they did. Oh, damn. Yeah, that was dangerous. I think we were right by there when I met up uh, with you, like, in the Dude, Wendy's. I challenged Tickle. Oh, Tickle's in here. Tickle! Tickle! I challenged him to that, and then good thing we didn't do it. I was like, we should do that. But then I was already tired, so I didn't want to do it. But uh, good thing I didn't. I would have I died in the foam pit. It would have been rest in peace, Pixie. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at that, too, because I was just like, oh, that's so scary. Like, I was just like... That looks fun, but at the same time, like, eh, but... I thought I was going to lose my balance, because I don't really have good balance. So I can't even balance on a skateboard. Like, if you asked me to, like, like just balance on a skateboard, I would just fall. Yeah. Like, through my face, I had oh. terrible balance. So in that platform, I feel like I would have fall f fell on immediately like even though no one pushed me with the little noodle oh no same same here i'm just like the minute i get it <laughs> boom he does a backflip <laughs> and, and i don't do backflips at all it was like how did uh d rad do a backflip no that was that was the phone you're gonna like crunch your legs like jumping off like like in valorant when you crunch your legs when you jump off of I heaven <laughs> i'm just like like this but yeah. Ah! but yeah i, I think I, we didn't go to pump it though <laughs> i know but yeah, <laughs> um, let's see. Well, I lost my train of thought before the raid was coming in. So thanks a lot, Jaxi. Not just kidding. Um, <laughs> what were we talking about? I think we talked about cosplay before. Okay. But I don't know what I don't know what happened after that. We talked about cosplay for sure. Yeah, yeah. You were saying something about like creating cosplay and stuff like that. <sighs> yeah. So the community, they were just so kind, like you mentioned, and they were just so. They're, they're just like you know just like talking to you just like about like their favorite stuff you know what they do with cosplay even if you they're you know something that you cosplay and they really like that character and it's cool to be able to like feedback off that especially um i don't know if you've ever like when you've cosplayed and maybe you met your favorite like uh voice actor at a cosplay while you're that character and stuff like i was able to do that with uh sean shemo who's the voice actor of goku you know because he's, nice. the, he's the he's the voice of my childhood i i love that yeah. guy and when i came in like it was just funny because they said like around 4 p.m is when everybody can line up and stuff here is already there so it's 3 30 so me being sneaky i just like go in there I'm like so did the did the line start here or like for this like Oh, Mike, you know, since you're here, you can uh, meet Sean right now. I'm like, oh, man, this is awesome. Easy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, like, I I, uh, I designed him something. He signed it. But he was just so such a great guy. He, like, loved my, like, cosplay and everything. And we were just talking about, you know, Dragon Ball Z. And I told him, like, you know, man, I'm just, like, being real with you. Like, my, when I was a, when I was a kid, you got me through a lot of, like, my high school days and stuff. Me and my brother used to watch you and i'm like quoting him like all the stuff he's doing he's like oh man that's really cool and he saw the crazy thing he sounds exactly like goku that's his normal yeah. voice and i'm like oh my god so you're like, i'm just talking to goku you should close your eyes i'm talking to goku yeah i know and, and, he, and he and he just randomly just said this to me he's like hey you know what you look like one of my best friends and i'm like oh my god goku i'm your best friend <laughs> Hey, it's me, Goku. <laughs> I know. He's like, I'm your best friend, Goku. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, my heart. Then I was just like, oh man. My heart. Is, yeah. Then he just like. That is so good. Then we did a Kamehameha together, so. Yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, I love Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. so you said I, I too also grew up with Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, you saw me playing Kakarot I yeah. think before, and I was like playing the crap out of Kakarot. I was like, I don't want it to end. Yeah, because uh, uh, Gohan's your favorite, right? Yeah, Gohan. Oh, he fell. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna grab him. I got it. <laughs> Go on! Don't be like Goku. <laughs> 
his body parts. Look. Oh, oh my god, what happened to Gohan? <laughs> I murdered him. I'll put him together. No, but I got this like big Gohan figure for, for just 20 bucks. And I'm like, why is this so cheap? It's so nice. It's cool. so heavy. I feel like I could murder someone with it. There it is. That's Mystic Gohan. See how big it is? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we love Gohan. Nice. I love Gohan. Um, I think for me, why I love Gohan so much is that, like, when I was a kid, I, I kind of related to him because I was a kid growing up. Mm -hmm. And then even when he was, like, a child being all, like, whiny and stuff, um, I, I think I was growing up at the same time he was growing up with the episodes. Oh. So I felt like that really strong connection with, like, Gohan and stuff like that. So when he was, like, a teenager, I was, like, in middle school, and I was like, oh, my God, this is, like, so cool. I love this character. Um, I really respected that he wanted to be, like, normal at the same time because that was kind of like what i was trying to do uh, but then i also respected that he had like this you know talent and the, the power that he had mm -hmm. and stuff like that so i found him really i think relatable as a kid like, i tried to like after we played kakura i started to realize like wow that's probably the connection i have with gohan <laughs> that is so cool i love that yeah because man yeah because yeah you're watching that like evolution of him growing up as you know yeah. from a kid to and a i'm growing up too and all that yeah and they're still growing up too because <laughs> they're, they're still making episodes of you know dragon ball i believe they're gonna be making pretty soon like new like episodes like of super and stuff which i'm really yeah did you about. like super i love super mm -hmm. i usually don't love like new like when they when they be re release a series i guess kind of but there's something about super that i just love i love beerus i love Whis, i love all of it like yeah. from start to finish like the only saga i didn't like was the black saga which is i think everyone didn't like that one generally oh yeah but i loved everything else yeah I didn't love it, love it, but I, I, Future Trunks. I like the bad guy. Yeah. It was a Zam Zeta or whatever. He was oh, just like. Like Zamasu. I liked him. Zamasu, sorry. Yeah. Zam, who's Zam Zeta then? <laughs> I'm thinking of someone else. Sounds like a DJ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Z Zamasu. I think if they just kept it at him and then do the Goku Black, it would have been a great thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know. Oh my gosh. But yeah, like when they brought in Future Trunks back, I was like, <gasps> I like literally legit called Future my brother. Trunks. I'm like, dude, he's back. <laughs> I'm calling. He's my He's favorite. back. He came back. He's my favorite. I love Future Trunks. He he goes through a lot, so I I feel like does, I'm the same yeah. way. You know, at that yeah. point as a character, like you're relating to Gohan and stuff. But yeah, Tournament of Power was amazing. Yeah, that was my favorite. Then. I'm like the only person who liked Jiren. I was like, Jiren's so angry that he's just like one of the strongest people in the universe. I yeah. was like, I was like, if I, <laughs> I think I'm that angry, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm not never angry, but I'm like, I respect that amount of anger. Yeah, he he went through a lot, Jiren. <laughs> he did. Yeah, I feel like they should have covered more, but like, I some of my friends always give me crap. They're like, why do you like Jiren? He has like no story. I'm like, that's why I like him because he's just angry. <laughs> <laughs> he's like i'm angry and i'm strong <laughs> but yeah when you get to know like the history and stuff like when they were like doing it, like like towards that yeah spoiler spoiler everybody spoiler spoiler, spoiler. if you don't want to hear it uh you can turn off the stream that's totally fine but we have to talk about it so spoiler 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 okay spoiler spoiler or yeah spoiler okay uh <laughs> um yeah just one like goku and vegeta were just like getting to his like limits and stuff and he would just like it just like something awoke in him and it like really like upset him a lot during the tournament of power because it was, right. i believe it was down to him and tapo right from that what what's their team called because they're they're the ones that protect uh... they're like police enforcers in their uh universe oh yeah yeah i don't know what they're they were just called universe something i don't know which number it was yeah but yeah yeah they're like almost like superhero type of like police people mm -hmm. yeah yeah and it's just like like goku and vegeta were like triggering him to be like this um fighter that he's never like really opened up to be you know right and then when he's got that like i think they showed a flashback when he was a kid and oh stuff. yeah yeah he has like a some some like what's backstory was it someone someone told me like this is a copy paste of something backstory and i was like shut up i love you <laughs> <laughs> quiet it could be you to do it was like something like his family died or something and then he was really upset or oh. something and he was like an uh orphan or something i correct me if yeah, i'm wrong that's I, I felt what like, i got yeah. from it Pride Troopers, thank you so much. That's what they're called, the Pride Troopers, like all of them. But that, yeah, that, yeah. that was that's crazy because it, that dude like felt like he was unstoppable and stuff because no one 
like they all tried and their like energy was like all down i think like the only one that could legit kind of keep up with him in reality was android 17 yeah and 17 is one of my favorites too i love his yeah demeanor. 17 was so good yeah. in in uh super what i like about dragon ball z is that i think a lot of people don't recognize it but um it emphasizes like the the need and feel for competition so like someone like uh goku he's always like yeah i can like wish away this guy with the dragon balls but i could also fight him and become a better fighter yeah. and then i'm like oh i kind of kind of respect that because when you have a competitor in that kind of sense that's kind of healthy i mean it seems like unhealthy but it's healthy because yeah. they're like at the end like he's like oh my god you're and you're like amazing and jiren's like you're amazing so like jiren didn't have that competition so that's how he got i think he got fueled yeah. by, by fighting them and uh i think that's like really really uh cool aspect of dragon ball z because like when you're at the top and you don't have anyone to fight with or anyone to like, compete with how, how boring is that you know so yeah. like yeah. yeah 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 he always wants that competition which is crazy because goku like, you know, of course he's pure Goku's hearted. so Papega sometimes, yeah. though. He's like, yeah, I'll destroy the world so I can fight. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah kind of like risk it all. It's like, even like, like to me, it's still mind-boggling that, you know, he wanted Frieza to join their team. Like, dude, this dude. I love that. Yeah. That collab was amazing. Yeah. I love their energy and then, and then their chemistry. And then the fact that he pretended to, like, revenge be revengeful on them and he's like oh just kidding i'm helping you guys <laughs> i know i was like dang it's just crazy like that dude wiped ent your entire race that's very and yeah like... he's like let's let's the ally with him that's why vegeta's always uh the the, the sensible one vegeta's always been the sensible one he's yeah. like what the hell are you doing yeah he's like well we need somebody to help us you know and goku's like don't like, worry going to destroy my entire planet yeah. <laughs> Goku's yeah. like, well, just let me talk to Frieza. We're going to hash things out. He's like, just remember, Frieza, if you do something very sneaky, but he's really, like, nice about it. He's like, remember, yeah. I can still take you out. And Vegeta's so PTSD. He's like, oh, Frieza. I know. Like, when he sees him, he's like, I don't want anything to do with him. Yeah, I feel bad. Like, that's I was just like, man, that's just like, you're, you're, you're bringing back Vegeta's trauma. Yeah. Uh, Vegeta's character development's great. He ended up being the best dad, the most sensible person. Mm -hmm. Like... He's a little hothead, but he's just, like, overall such a great character. Yeah, he, he cares a lot. That's what I love he's about him. He's a great Vegeta. husband, yeah. so he gets a 10 out of 10. Him yeah. and Gohan are great husbands, so. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, great husbands. Who else is? Not, definitely not Goku, because he always wants not to Goku. go. Not Goku! Don't, he don't even know what a kiss is. He don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, oh. I was like, oh, my God. Uh. And then, like, in Dragon Ball, he was like, why are you touching me? Did you cheat? <laughs> I, I was like, damn, this is so funny. So this is what a kiss feels like, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's... He's like, you have to... he's like, Kakara, you have kids. And he's like, he's like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I know, just... I'm like, dang. He just let Piccolo take over the dad duties for Gohan when he was young right. and going up there. Oh, Piccolo's awesome. Yeah, which you, you watched a new movie, right? I did, yeah. My friend, I got really lucky. I have a friend who works in the movie theater, so he yeah. like had like a special premiere for us, and oh, we had nice. like all this like popcorn and stuff yeah. like that. So it was just me, uh, Tickle, and uh, Sodi Mektai was in chat, and my friend Daniel, mm -hmm. who's also a streamer, uh, unrelated show, and then we and his group of friends, and we all watched it together, and it was it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a movie that really brought me back to because I'm a big fan of the Cell Saga and the Dragon Ball Z series. And I, yeah, I watched it with my brother and, oh my gosh, it, it was, it was good. It was really good to me, like, per se. I like the story and stuff because I, I like seeing, like... I, I think anime movies are always a little bit fan, not, like, fan service, fan service in the way of, like, characters, like, so, like, they're not, like, super canon, see me, it seems mm -hmm. like, yeah. but I, I love Gohan, so I'm very forgiving for that, so anything Gohan content, I'm, like, I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I really liked that was the focus between, like, you know, Gohan and Piccolo and stuff. Um, to anybody that hasn't watched it yet, I'm I'm not going to completely spoil or anything, but, you know, it's really just about them if you've seen the trailer and stuff. And it's just cool because that's what they lost a lot after the Majin Buu saga, just because they really just focus on Goku and Vegeta a lot. Yeah, Go Gohan got slept on, uh -huh. so... um. I'm excited that if they bring him back. So, like, when they brought him back for, like, the 
the tournament arc. There's like a, a lot of friends that know that I like Gohan, and mm-hmm. they were just like, you know, watch the tournament arc, Gohan's in it. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> but then I, it took me up until this year to actually watch Super. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, shoot, I should have watched this like three years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was so good. So being able to like see characters like that uh, come back it just really like kind of like like warms my heart because I, I love when it's just a team effort because it was just not just like you know for me like with gohan and piccolo but you know i love like the guys who are not that strong like tian shinhan and he's like one of my favorites yeah and it was like hunger games that that whole tournament arc yeah it was like completely hunger games feels that. i love hunger game feels yeah krillin yeah master roshi yeah the androids and i was just like man this is this is really cool so it's just making me smile because this is what you know we wanted because i don't think gt gave us that uh service when oh, watching not GT. It. yeah <laughs> when i first watched it i'm like what the heck is going Zeno on Zeno here i don't know if you can see it there you go uh, Zeno. and then i got this like f- fat yoshi from twitchcon it's so big Oh, big Yoshi. He's chunky. Yeah. Big ch- Yoshi. Yeah, big Yosh, the the Chungus Yoshi. <laughs> the Chungus Yoshi, yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. I want one. I want one. I want a Zeno. I Zeno. want one. This is uh, the Chungus Yoshi was a little overpriced. It was like $15 just for this. So I was like, wow. Did you get you're that? overselling these. Artist Alley? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I've seen the, that booth before. Um they just saw like the the big Chungus stuff. <laughs> Everything's Chungus related. Everything's Chungus, yep. I should have bought, it said, it, I think it said 30 for 120. I was like, that's what I should have bought. <laughs> no. 30 for one. Oh, Chungus. I just had 30 of them. Yeah. Oh, Chungus. I wish it was a little bigger, though. Yeah. I would spend, like, 30 bucks if this was, like, this big. No joke. Oh, yeah. If it was... so, it's so funny. Yeah. It's Chungus. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I want something like big that. Big Chungus. I just have a wall just dedicated to that. If I, like, change up my setup... That'd just be Oh, did you see to... your sticker? It's right here. No, I didn't see it. <laughs> it's like, okay, so you see, I don't know if you can see it because I'm on Discord. I don't know if my camera's cut. I'm looking. But above, <laughs> see this peach, and right above it, your sticker's there. Oh, I see it. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really ha- happy that you enjoyed the stickers and stuff. Yeah, no, it's super cool. I, I, I always enjoy stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, I enjoy any gift, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> usually when I meet, yeah, we usually when I meet uh, people that you know I've developed friendships with and stuff, like because I used to go, well, I still go to raves, but I used to like trade off like candies and stuff to people, and I was just like, oh yeah, I want to do you something. You did the the hand thing, yep, or whatever, Peace. the slur, yep, I remember. Peace, love, I unity, respect. I don't stolen at a rave. That's why I'm kind of bitter about raves. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah um but yeah i saw so i wanted to just do that uh and just like give people that so it was yeah it was really cool. oh i had stickers that were supposed to come during twitchcon that i was supposed to give out was these boopa stickers <gasps> but they came later so i'm like shit yeah next time oh, next time i have these yeah next time there's gonna be plenty <laughs> next of time yeah or uh yeah man yeah, because this was really cool. I, I really love how everybody was just, like, giving away stickers. Like, I have some, too. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to get, like, a sticker book because I want to just... Because my stickers... Yeah, I, I actually did that recently. I actually should put more stickers here. But, yeah, I have a sticker book. Cool. It has, like, like Morgan's there. It has, like, these kind of stickers in here. Yeah. Oh, nice. I will show. Some of them are NSFW. <laughs> <laughs> But there's, yeah, there's some I got from, like, Twitch Found. There's Piccolo, because I'm worshipping Pickle. <laughs> yeah, true dad of Gohan. That's not a sticker, though, but, yeah, this is cute. Oh, so. awesome. Cool. cool. That's cool, a cool. new thing I started. I'm like, I'm going to collect stickers. I'm going to, like, spend a $1,000 in stickers. Mm-hmm. It's okay. They're the best. I love stickers and stuff, because my They dad... are, but it's like, you, where do I put them? I just want to keep them and look at them. <laughs> I know. There's some of them that I won't, like, stick on, because I have a box somewhere around there that's just full of stickers but i don't want to place them anywhere but yeah but my desk here it's made out of glass and stuff so i don't know if that's really safe for me to stream and stuff but it hasn't broke yet so (laughs) (laughs) that's good but it's just don't slam it (laughs) yeah it's like it's like a custom my desk like that i got and it lights up too it's cool but i just put all my stickers on here from people that I got, and it's just it's nice. legit filling filling up like crazy, and I'm just like, man, damn. I, I, now you need a booba there. Yeah, I need that. I need that. <laughs> I, you need this. Yeah, I need that. 
cool. I need that. <laughs> Let's see here. You're an artist, and um, I just want to. I don't add... know if I'm an artist. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're an artist to me. No, I'm not. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> So I just want to uh, ask you, um, like for personal art, what's like probably like the coolest thing that you made and that you're proud of? Hmm. Uh, I would I would answer that with like design and cosplay. So, yeah, like, design, you can do both. Uh, That's fine. I don't know, like design. Th there was a lot of clients that I worked with that were super big. Um, I think I can't name them exactly, but uh, there was a few that I was like a fan of, which is Formula One. So mm -hmm. it's really cool to do stuff for Formula One and actually launch that stuff. So I'm like, oh, wow, I worked with Formula One. That's like one of my favorite sports. I don't like sports. I love I love motorsports, though. So Formula One, I, I worked with McLaren Racing, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a cool project that I can think of for design. Um, for cosplay, I restarted doing armor building. So you saw like the 3D prints mm -hmm. and then me working with foam a lot. Um, it takes up a lot of time, uh, but one of the cooler projects was that fish bones that I made and Raptalia, which was cool. And so I'm starting to do more foam builds like that are even larger than that, larger scale wow. foam builds. Yeah. So it's really cool to try to test my, my knowledge, like my ability to do that kind of stuff. Cause I like, am not, I'm like, God, this is so hard. Like it, it's very hard when you go into it at first. Like there's so much to think of, like the blade being sharp enough to cut through the foam, the, te the, the millimeter of foam that you're using, how you glue it together, the little like break points, um, stuff like that. So I was like, but very meticulous with specifically fish bones and then I, I, when I finished I was like oh it's so bad it's so bad and then I painted it and I saw the photos and I'm like what was I I did chill that looks good that looks <laughs> good so it, it, there was like a little perfectionist in me on, the, on those projects but th those were like some of my favorites oh awesome cool do you have like anybody like that like inspired you to do something like that because there's like because when you're working on something I'm sure um, you watch something like on YouTube or maybe you had a mentor or anything like for me personally this I have like one of my biggest fans would I just have to see be my family like my my brother and my mom and dad they always pump me up to do something then I look at like the internet and like that and make it my own so do you do you have anything like that like to keep your work going like uh Let's think. I don't know. My friends have always been there for me, but at my worst. I was, mm -hmm. like, jobless for a year. Yeah. I was pretty depressed, and I was pretty in, like, a bad spot. Mm -hmm. And my friends, like, Tickle, um, all the people in the chat, Fun Guy, all those people, always were su incredibly supportive to me, um, even if they didn't, like, fully understand the situation. So that definitely kept me going. Because mm -hmm. um, I look back at it, and uh, the people who were there at your lowest were the best people. Because there's people that were there when you're high, at your highest, and they see that you're at your highest, mm -hmm. and they start talking to you again. But then there's people like Tickle and all them who have always been there, even when I was at my lowest. Like, mm -hmm. I was not great. I was not doing well. I was being um, overly insecure about myself and yeah. they always boosted my confidence. So that's really sweet of them. And so I think they have always kept me going because they have always believed in me. <laughs> no, that is awesome. Shout out to you guys there. Seriously, that that means a lot. Just even just like hearing this um, because, you know, I don't get sappy like that, though. I'm more sundere. So okay. <laughs> I take it back. I hate I hate you guys. <laughs> I, I hate them. They're the worst. Uh, you know, that's just, that's how tough love is. You know, that's just the it real tough, tough love, love of yeah. friendships and stuff. You know, that's, that's for sure. I, I think my, my brother would just like laugh at me and just say something like that. It's like, oh, you're, shut oh, up, yeah. man. I'm like, oh, dude, my family's like that too. My, fa my family, we don't hug either. If someone, if we hug each other, something's wrong. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. <laughs> I just want to, yeah, if we hug each other and say we're proud of each other, that just like makes me go like this. Like, what, what did I do? <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> so we're, we're such a tough love. Yeah, I say get away from me. What's wrong with you? Because I'm like, I get so uncomfortable. Because yeah. I'm like, you never did this when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, now for me, like, since I'm getting older and like understanding like how I am, because, you know, I'm a Leo and stuff. I'm just like, I need that hug. You're a Leo, raw, raw XD. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, <laughs> but I'm like, I kind of like troll about it. I'm like, I'm like, I love you so much, mom and dad. You know, like. 
they, they just laugh and stuff because my mom just like, like taps what me do you like want this. <laughs> just, like, she taps me like that and i'm just like then i'm like stop it and i'm like but mom i'm a leo i'm a no emotional <laughs> You also are emotional. Yeah, I didn't well, know that. Well, my side, like, cause just re- reading like the horoscope and everything, it's kind of weird. It's like legit. Half of it's true, half of it's like, eh. But I'm just like. I feel hmm. like horoscopes are like usually general traits. Mm-hmm. So then when you read it, you're like, hmm. Have you ever tried like Myers Briggs? Yep. That that test like makes you feel like very specified when you take it. Yeah. What What are your letters? Uh, INFJ. So it's like almost like a someone who who's empathic to people but is also kind of an introvert and needs to recharge so oh, i was like this okay. sounds fit yeah that sounds fit okay yeah i'm trying to think of my letter e uh, e and f j a those are my letters oh yeah i could see you as an extrovert i'm actually a huge introvert but mm-hmm. i don't i sometimes blend in as an extrovert yeah <laughs> so i'm like i would say like i, I lo- like doing this one-on-ones i i like I love one-on-ones and just getting to know people and stuff. Like, I can do well with groups and stuff, but I will get drained slowly. Yeah. Where it starts to, like, to, like deteriorate. Like, I'm like, oh, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> and when you have a big group, it's almost like they section themselves out. Like, we had a big group at TwitchCon, mm-hmm. so it's like, oh, I can only really talk to the group at my table, kind of. Because <laughs> the other group is, like, so far away. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I'm just like... Because, that, you know, that's what I was, like... Uh, doing like on sunday because i felt like i didn't i'm i'm a planner i i'm like i like to be like organized and stuff like that so like saturday i'm just like i'm just gonna play it by ear and stuff and i'm like whoa it's all over the place and i'm like telling myself yeah I, I, i'm a planner too yeah because I, I think i was like i was like uh texting you i'm just like hey uh are you at the con or like where do you want to be i'm like you know what that's fine we don't have to meet today we just do it tomorrow and I'm just i was like, like I, I i just left and I, I was like i didn't go to the party i'm, I'm gonna go to sleep <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm a boomer i'm tired already <laughs> yeah i saw it i was like oh she's going to sleep i'm like oh, you know i'm like i have to see like tickle and pixie and stuff so that's why i was just like all right if you guys are here it's yeah, really it, chill that was we, like, yeah sunday we're chilling mm-hmm. that was the whole plan yeah so it was good that we we're able to like hang out like that but um tickle is crap ca- cap for corn i almost said crap before <laughs> <laughs> myers brig is very consistent i'm a enfp oh enfp those are crappy corn crappy corn crappy corn all right, sorry guys. I'm, you know, I do apologize if I did not like say hi to any of you guys. It's just the podcast and stuff. Uh, but I'll, I'll give you a quick hi, everybody. So, hello Tickle, hello Ram, hello uh, Sodium, hello Jaxi, hello Foon Guy, hello, 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 hello. I think I got everybody. If I missed you guys, Starlo, <gasps> hi Starlo, the crap Cree, and. I think that's it. <laughs> cool. Hi, everybody. Yes. Hi. Oh, yeah. What's the wave again? Hi. The wave is everybody. Uh, everybody. The okay. individual. Individual. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, hi, everybody. Uh, hi, Tickle. <laughs> I'm gonna... It's more personalized. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take that, like, in my streams or in life take in it, general now. It. In life in, in general. In life in general. <laughs> like, every, like, if I see, like, like, my group of friends... Hi everybody! Then I'm just like, hey, to you. Hey. <laughs> like I'm no, this is not a group hi. This is just for you, for the person, individual. Personalized. Yeah, <laughs> I like that Very so personalized. much. Personalized. Oh man, <laughs> that's cool. I really like, because we're, we're go- I'm gonna go back to like uh, what you created, like your art stuff, because um, I always feel like people especially the ones that you you know become close with and have like good friendships of even like through like for me personally through through twitch um because i I, you know for me my experience i've never met like so many awesome people that are just so like motivate motivating you and like and you know at the same time like inspirational because they you know they just always say like awesome nice things about you because when i first like met you guys uh for the first time in irl i was like Oh my gosh, it's how they are on stream. They're so cool. Yeah. You guys are so kind. You're just no like... No persona. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how we are. <laughs> yeah, you guys are just like, hey, uh, do, do you want to hang out for a little bit? I'm like, yeah, I do. 
<laughs> like, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm like a terrible like at cons. I'm just like just just hang out with me. I will walk around. Yeah. I don't have any plans usually. I don't even plan photo shoots. I just say like I'm gonna meet you whenever mm-hmm. I meet you at the photo area. Yeah. I've never got. Someone... I hate planning stuff at cons. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm it's, just like it's, just find me. It's, it's, find it's, me. It's hard. It's hard and stuff. It is hard. It's very hard. Cause I'm not that type of person that will come up to like you or like tickle. I'm like, all right, guys, we're hanging out. This is what we're going to do. I'm like, yeah, we're no. hanging out at two thirty. We're gonna do this. We're yeah. gonna go into the the pit and we're gonna break our backs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, that wasn't the plan. <laughs> I was just like, man, we're just gonna like chill out and stuff and just like you know get to you know like hang out with each other, get to know. Yeah. each other but it's just how we are in stream and i love that and yeah you guys were so cool and like right afterwards i like texted like because uh since my brother and uh shell knows you guys i text them a picture i'm like hey look who i met and they're like oh, look, they're so real. Cool. <laughs> yeah i'm like yeah they're humans oh, they're, they're awesome they're they're really sweet oh yeah yeah chill vibes uh yeah so i'm very grateful for them that I was able to like meet you guys through uh that raid and stuff because ever since then they randomly raided tickle i think and then we yeah. met through tickle yeah. and then we ended up being fr- all friends from that yeah yeah i remember yeah that was part of that raid. it was completely random yeah because they're just like we want to raid an artist and uh tickle was doing pixel art and stuff yeah then yeah we raided over then you just i believe like tickle looked at uh chill vibes's pa- uh, page and stuff and he was like, oh, cool, you work, you do clothing line. And you asked, like, if we were yeah. from California and stuff. But we're like, nah, we're we're here in the Midwest. You're like, what is that? And we're like, is there... What's that? What's the Midwest? <laughs> yeah. You're like, is there a lot of trees out there? I'm like, aha, a lot of pine trees. But we're not from that side. We're from the, like, the, the diverse city side, which is, like, okay. pretty cool. So, yeah, because if you go more up... The Midwest, I, I don't, I don't... I haven't been to the Midwest. I've been to East Coast. East Coast is a little weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah. But hmm, like the Midwest, no, I haven't been there. It's like Michigan, right? I don't want to like dox you. Is it Michigan or is it Michigan? Like yeah, Minnesota. It's... Yeah, yeah, like okay. Minnesota, Wisconsin, uh, Illinois, like that around that area. Like Chicago is like the biggest one. Straight the up cold, cold areas. <laughs> Yep. Ooh. <laughs> this is my first time wearing Ooh. a beanie because it's cold outside, so it's beanie oh, season. But I'm not used to it. Yeah, when I went to I went to Pennsylvania once and then it was like December and I was like, I wanna feel the pain of the cold weather. So I went outside at like it was negative like what, four or mm. something? I said Let, let's go outside. Three AM I went outside and I was like oh, yeah. I've never felt this cold yeah. in my life. Because <laughs> I live in California all my life. Yeah. I've never felt that level of cold ever. So I was like, <clears throat> that's, this is new to me. That's how death feels like. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, this is all, all new to me. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted a new experience. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it's it's nice. Because, you know, there's some people that are from, like, uh, California or, like, you know, the West Coast. And they're, like, asking, like, Hey, can we visit you during like the month of February? I was like, no, you cannot. You're it's really crazy. bad. I'm, I said, I'm not going to drive you anywhere because it's cold. <laughs> I want to stay in my house and I just want to just be hey. like comfortable and stuff because it's so bad. But if you want to yeah, At least back- your Christmas feels like Christmas. That was a good point that I knew someone in the East Coast always said like, oh, in California, it doesn't feel like Christmas. I'm like, you're right. Yeah. Like, because you guys get snow. We do not get snow. It just looks the same. Yeah. So like on Christmas, there's no Christmas feel. Yeah, but I'm like, but at what cost? You're freezing. Yeah, it's it's cold. I only like it when it's like that. I don't mind it, like during the month of November, or December. It's like that because it looks beautiful with the lights and everything. It matches the seasons yeah. too. But nah, after after January, I'm like, go away. I want summer to come back. Would you rather uh, live in California or have you experienced um like the really hot weather in California before? Yeah. I, I I enjoy it. I, I, well, love, I w- oh you enjoyed it. I love summer. Summer is my favorite. I I like hot weather. I prefer the dry heat more. Here uh, where I live, it's just very humid. It's very sticky. Oh yeah. But I like hot weather because I can just turn on the AC. Mm-hmm. And then hot weather here, um, because I have solar, it costs less to run like a lot of electricity. Oh yeah, that's that's, so, that's good for you guys. Yeah. So in the winter, if it's actually cold, I I, I prefer not to run the heater. I was like 
put blankets on. It's like it's okay. It doesn't get as it doesn't get crazy cold where I I need like tons of layers yeah. at yeah. all. Yeah, you'll never feel the negative temps because I have to blast no. the heat like crazy. And not it, until global warming happens. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you have a uh, was it those I, those Asian blankets that are really like warm. oh the, the tigers yeah <laughs> I yeah. always find those uncomfortable but yeah I have a bunch of them they're yeah. like in the closets but um I'm really weird so that's like my comforter that's my bed in the background mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I I I use like a blanket and I I never sleep in the bed which mm-hmm. is weird but then I don't have to make my bed so <laughs> big brain. <laughs> yeah. I have the Asian blankets as tickle and phone guys like Yeah, with wow. the tigers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's very comfortable. I just roll myself up like a little like burrito. I just go right in there and I'm just like, oh, I never want to leave. I'm like warm right now. I like turn on the AC. <laughs> I'm jealous. I had to turn on the uh, heat. My room gets pretty warm though cuz I'm running um I'm running all the tech in here, pretty much the router and stuff like that. I'm yeah. running a mini fridge. Mini fridge seems to make your room hotter yeah. <laughs> for some reason. So yeah, it's a lot of tech. I'm surprised my mini fridge hasn't burnt itself out. It's been like 3 years and it's still like super cold and mm. nice. That's good. Keep it. Yeah, cuz I was like mm, mini fridge technology is weird. It's going to like die in 2 years, but yeah. it's still living. It's still good. pumping. That's good. That's good. That's the ultimate lazy thing you get is a mini fridge. <laughs> oh, yeah, in your room. <laughs> yeah, it's li- it's under my desk. So, like, when I grabbed a drink, I just, like, opened it. <laughs> oh, smart. Awesome. I should have one. I don't move. Actually. Yeah, I, it's, it's worth it. Actually, I wait. Actually, I don't need one because my whole space here is a living room and kitchen because I live in a studio. Oh, and it's just right there. Nice. So it's very yeah, open you can just get and up. stuff. Yeah, so yeah your fridge is right there. <laughs> yeah, I, I call it a combined room of a streaming room. The living room and the kitchen, all together, all at once here. For sure. Which is cool. <laughs> that is cool. But yeah, uh, you because we were talking about like you know I think we were, like you were speaking about like warm weather and stuff and um I've never spent uh it's been like four years since I s- celebrated actually Christmas here because <laughs> I I always fly out to see my parents so I've experienced oh, your sure. weather more. Oh, so you flew out to California for Christmas? Oh no, my my parents uh they live in uh Las Vegas. So, oh okay, so yeah, it's hot there. Yeah, so I yeah I've been spending like yeah my holiday seasons for like past four or five years there. So yeah, you yeah. don't have the snow. Okay, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I don't miss it because my parents like want to come back. They're like, you want to come back for you know Christmas or anything, or do you, we want us to come there? I'm like, no, I'm going there. <laughs> I don't want it. Yeah, it's it's not it's cold. Vegas dry dry desert. It's so true. Yeah, and Vegas pre- is dry dry desert. Yeah, I prefer that. You know, it's not not too cold or anything. There's no snow in the ground. You can go places. Cause if, you, if it starts to have like a winter, that's interesting. Cause the always the people I I mean you're you're Midwest, but mm-hmm. like the East Coast people are always diehards. They come to California, they live here, and then they complain about California. It's like, wait, you you moved here, you wanted to move here, and then you're like, I miss the East Coast. It's so much better there. It's like we're back then. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, why are you you moved here? You wanted something here. <laughs> Maybe it's the traffic. I don't know. The traffic. Yeah. San Diego doesn't have really traffic. So like, if anyone complains in San Diego about traffic, they're lying. No, I I, I, lo- I love it. That's, <laughs> if I would had to live anywhere in California, uh, definitely be there because it's just yeah. And you could go to LA in like an hour if you wanted to. Because yeah. we're going to AX. We're going to the tiny AX. Me and Tickle, mm-hmm. I think. Me, Tickle, and Kyrie. Yeah. I don't know if Fun Guy's going. Um, and so that's just an hour drive. So I'm just I'm driving it. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. So you're like close to everything, even if you want to go to mm-hmm. Las, yeah, just, Las just Vegas. Quick drive. Las Vegas. That's like yeah. Oh, I've driven. I've driven Las Vegas. I'm crazy. I've driven pretty far. I've driven Las Vegas. Vegas is only five hours. Yeah, that's not bad. Cause that's what I did. It's at... yeah. It's pretty boring drive though. It's like desert. You got to go use the bathroom at Barstow, and then you got to keep going. Yeah, I I prefer. <laughs> That drive than here in the Midwest, it's so because there's just be surrounded by trees when you're if I'm going to Chicago for like six hours and that's I don't like it at all. But I like 
the at least it's not cornfields, yeah. I think. Yeah, the, it's it's like that. <laughs> the cornfields are like scary. Yeah, it's like uh, someone's gonna come out. Yeah, I'm s legit scared when I drive out to like the countryside because I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> someone's gonna come out. Oh, oh gosh, like that's like when I went to the East Coast. I'm like people, like these look like places where people get murdered. Yeah. That's what I always thought because I'm like this is so rural. Someone's gonna throw like a body in the river. It's just gonna like sick sick there i don't know my thoughts are crazy I don't, no, <laughs> I'm the same way too i was like i don't want that's why i prefer just to fly even though like you know i can drive there and just save but like no nah, i don't want to can't do it but the something about california i like i like driving there i like the um well Cal california to like vegas it's nice i like the scenery i like seeing the deserts i'm not bored with it you like seeing I, those abandoned houses that yeah. you're like what is that yeah that's not bad <laughs> i i prefer that like i was just telling like oh mm. yeah there's not really traffic going to vegas for some reason mm -hmm. which is weird you think there would be but it's just like one or two cars that pass by you every like few hours yeah yeah and it's not bad too so i was like i prefer desert driving and sceneries than he Corn, prefers cornfield. the dry, dry desert course on Mario Kart, yep. guys. <laughs> that, 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 yeah, definitely. I actually do level. like that course. Was it called dry, dry desert? I'm pretty sure it's called dry, dry. The one with the pyramids and then the... Yeah. That's a good one. That, yeah, that's the one. The double dash one. Yep. So, yeah, yep, everybody yep. knows my favorite now. <laughs> that's the course it's that not, I'm always It's not the, the one, the ice skating one. Hell no. <laughs> Do you not see that? He said, no. hell no. no. Oh, hell no. I'm not going to play that. No, no. We're not playing that ice rat place. No winter stages, even with Animal Crossing, because I know they changed like the seasons through Animal Crossing, through uh, in Mario Kart. I miss Kart. Animal Crossing. You don't play that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you the, don't play the that The Animal anymore? Crossing course? or No, I mean, Animal Crossing, oh, I, feel, I feel like it needs an update. Mm. I feel like um, if they added a way to build with your friends, I would play it every single day. Ooh. But they don't have that. That's the only feature I want. I asked them, Nintendo, make a way where I can like make like a dummy island with my friends and we can just build whatever. Or let them build at, at my island. And then I would be on it for hours. Oh you my know? gosh. No, that's a good one. It would be a... That's what I want. I keep complaining. I'm like, why don't they add that? I know they have the capability to add it, but they don't. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Nintendo, man, their choices are weird. <laughs> I know, that's true. Because, yeah, because... That island could fill up really fast, and they could. I'm really add... bad at decorating too. Like I may be a designer, but I I cannot take the time to decorate. So it'd be cool if I could take like tickle in there, and then we just decorate together. Cause who minds? <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, but that's a great feature that they should add, but they don't listen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, Nintendo, please. Please. Nintendo, step Please. it up. What do you think about the uh, the new Pokemon? I know me and Tickle were talking like kind of crap about it because of the way it, the way it just seems is like, oh, they're like min maxing. They're releasing it uh -huh. too early. It looks like very unpolished. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, because I'm just the ones that like, I gotta try it for my own experience yeah. and stuff. You know, I'll you know I'll see everybody's like kind of like you know feedback and what they think of uh, with the trailer and stuff but i get like scared of game companies because like nowadays they just like kind of release things for money like really fast yeah so they'll like not polish it and i i think pokemon has been a big one where they've been doing that and i'm just like can you if you spend like an extra few months on this it'd be really good <laughs> yeah i prefer like companies being like that you know just really really taking their time until this is like fully released but yeah that's crazy yeah. like how many pokemon games have come out on the nintendo switch uh just like with remakes or maybe like newer games like that because i'm just like i'm not done with sword and shield yet you know kind of like that so i'm just like yeah yeah we'll see yeah their games have been super linear i'm just like ooh, that's a bummer mm -hmm. i don't know like I, I'm like, <laughs> I'm always d diving deeper into like business aspects of things. So like when I see a business doing a certain type of tactic, I'm like, ooh, I know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like the same thing, too. Like I always think of like marketing, advertising, like this is yeah, I'm like, the company ooh, wants Pokemon's do doing something kind of funny here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. But they know their fans that they're going to like it no matter what it is. So that's that's what they're taking advantage of. Mm -hmm. But they can definitely release something that's much stronger, in my opinion. Yeah. No, I totally agree, too. I, I prefer just 
any gaming company to take their time. Yeah, just delay it. Everyone will be fine by it. No one's like, you know. Uh, they're they're going to be the diehard ones that get really upset, though. They're like, yeah. You're like, I need my Pokemon content. I need it now. I need it for my... I need to play Pokemon. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm really careful. Yeah, games lately have been strange with that kind of structure. Like, mm -hmm. almost like they want to build more money than they do want, wanting to build a game that is very good for the players. Yeah. Sometimes they don't give the people what they want. And that's true. It's just yeah. how it is, everybody. It's a business. <laughs> Businesses don't care. Business is dirty. Yeah. No, businesses, they, yeah, they, I don't know. Uh, I could talk all day about businesses being dirty. <laughs> me too, me too. It's just really easy to be dirty in a business. It's just, it's just how it is. Yeah, it's just sad. It's just how, the, you know, is, reality yeah. is. Because I always think about that. Because, you know, I. Like Blizzard. You you ever play Blizzard, Blizzard games? They, like, mm -mm. are so dirty. Um, I used to play WoW for, for like, a decade plus. Yeah. And I, I was a big WoW fan. And I always played it. But then they 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 end up being like kind of weird back when they merged with Activision in like 2008, yeah. mm -hmm. and they started being weird. And then all of a sudden it was like pay to win kind of things, and I was like all these pay packages. And then there was a lot of skins on the store, which is like fine because it was like oh it's just skins, and mm -hmm. everyone knows that you bought it if you bought it. But the problem was is that they're releasing like all these really cool skins in the store, like for mounts. Yeah. But the ones that you earn in game for doing really hard content look like crap compared to that. And I'm like, oh, the the paid mounts look better. Why? I know. So that's where it got like kind of lame. And uh, yeah, wow. Ever since then, I haven't touched it in a very long time. Yeah, cause like you, as like uh you know a person like when you you know support companies like that and you just see like the evolution of the company growing and things that are changing yeah like, too many microtransactions i don't not a big fan of microtransactions unless they're valuable like mm -hmm. dlcs but um if they're just like skins and stuff i'm like mm, i'd rather earn them in game yeah that's like you know it's a last you know thing for video games to have like those like codes or like earning like you know stuff like that because i still have that like mindset whenever i play like a video game I'm just like, oh, who do I have to unlock to kind of like do this and stuff? And I'm like, oh, shoot, I have to pay yeah, for Yeah, when this? you play online and, and you earn those things online, like in WoW, like you earn titles and mm -hmm. mounts, you like, you were like, the community would be like, oh my god, you're so good, like, so cool, whatever. But mm -hmm. that, that was kind of lost when, when they added microtransactions because it felt like everyone could get the same thing and it was just not as fun anymore. Mm -hmm. The whole thing about WoW was like, showing showing off kind of your gear yep. and that's why i like to it's just like oh look at this gear i got look at this mount i have that mm -hmm. you don't have kind of thing which is well i don't know it's a little ego thing but it, that's what made it fun because people like around you would be like wow it's so cool that you have that but now it's not like that everyone has it and it's not fun anymore yeah it's just like oh you have it they're like yeah i i got it i bought it or something like I that bought like, it. Like, i bought it I, I, I'm like, dang it, I like worked five years for that or something like that. Yeah. And just like, oh, like God, that. I used to play Lost Ark, and Lost Ark was a really good game, and I, I think it's still a good game. But w at the very end of Lost Ark, it was just like you kind of had to pay money to, to progress. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. And so I quit. But if you didn't want to progress and, and you didn't want to pay money, it would take you like 12 hours a day playing that game. To, oh, to, yeah. To, to make it up to the level of people who are paying money so i was like no no more lost ark <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it's you know it's good that something like that you know still exists because i i think there's should be more of that you know it's just you gotta really express yourself to the companies but like i mentioned businesses they don't care yeah if it's whatever makes them, money whatever makes money is what path they're gonna go for mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll they'll not like Nintendo will never listen to me to bring back Super Mario Thirty Five, and I love that game they'll, so much. Oh, uh, they'll never like they they hate remaking stuff. That's what yeah. I noticed. <laughs> like I'm like, where's my Majora's Mask remake? Where's my? I know they remade it out for DS, but like, can't they just like put put it on the Switch store? Or something? I know <laughs> that's the same thing. Like I want these like certain things, and they don't put them on there. Like come yeah, on, they... that's all I want. I don't care about yeah, anything else. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, give me these old games. I want to just replay them. Yeah. I feel like that's, like, there might be, like, they're going to go towards that, like, remake route because it's just all about, like, what uh, video games are doing. It's, like, you're remaking a lot of these, like, classic games 
uh, just with newer graphics, because it's like yeah, I feel like once they found out it was financially like like beneficial, they started doing it because mm-hmm. Blizzard was one of them where the guy was like, "No, we don't want to do this. You think you want it, but you know that's what he said mm-hmm. to the fans." And I'm like, "Oh, this is a disgusting statement." But then they end up doing it. And it's like it's, their old game sells yeah. more than their new. So sounds like that's that's a me thing for him not for the fans you know <laughs> you want you think you want this but you don't i was like the fans want this yeah. are you not listening it's, it's you <laughs> you're thinking it's that it's you who doesn't want it yeah it's, it's i i feel like you know just like if you're like a business owner that really care a lot you know you really have to listen to like your audience or, or like your niche and stuff because that's it sucks what... it sucks because most don't they don't care yeah <laughs> i don't i don't think i know anyone i don't know many people who own a company that care a lot about their consumer <laughs> yeah sadly yeah well if you're sadly if you're making the tons and stuff yeah they, they're you're not gonna like, see whatever. that they're just gonna pull away to the dude that you hired that's... I know that almost makes me feel like I want to be like a CEO or something because I I would take effort and care in every aspect even even like my employees like I don't know maybe one day I'll be a CEO or something but I always be hands on involved because I think uh, the company is only as good as its CEO so if mm-hmm. CEOs being like nasty and whatever it's just gonna come out eventually yeah that's I think that's you know like for like young entrepreneurs and stuff because uh, you know I consider myself an entrepreneur owning a design firm uh with you know two other people or like three and it was just we really like did our best to like have that like culture and stuff and just like make everybody like you know equal and just like you know wants everybody to be like comfortable with and stuff and i i felt like that you know like that was successful uh for like us but you know we had like different paths we wanted to do something else but you know i take that trait what i learned and i want to bring it into you know something that i'm doing for like you know a brand or anything like that because it it is important it's it's lost it's just if you have like a really big group of people that are telling you this and that you know you're gonna have like those mindsets are different like but if I, if that ever came to mind like where it's just like oh my gosh d red punks has built something he's gonna do this and i like i start hiring people but you know i want that main like business plan that i have and that objective that i want this you know like you said i want to be full hands on at this i want to be able to help i want to be able to bring this culture i want to be able to care i want to be able to listen to what uh you know people want yeah it yeah it can be tough and draining and stuff but at the end you know it's possible you know then you just yeah yeah have more uh like you know success out of that because they're gonna remember you as like i remember this guy he was really great at what he does he really cared about us and you know at the same time he did like business and he needed to do what like what's right and stuff because yeah something like that's that. like uh have you ever watched those, like gordon ramsay K- kitchen nightmares mm-hmm. that's kind of like what was the problem generally for all the people was that they weren't hands-on enough like they would run the restaurant and they would just like they'd be like yeah i own the restaurant but they're sleeping at home it's like dude you own the restaurant you have to be in the restaurant when it's functioning yeah. <laughs> or it's not gonna function yeah. like it's just not gonna work that way so that's what where people like go wrong and i think that aspect applies to any kind of business you're doing <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah it's really important if you're not putting in the work you're they're gonna see that then it's just like you can't do it that's why you know when can you... i use the bathroom i'm raising my hand teacher yeah. can i use the bathroom yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i'll be right back for a second <laughs> teacher can i use the bathroom yeah. i gotta go <laughs> right, i'll be really fast so. no, yeah take okay. your time no, I'm be a no. <laughs> oh, not cool that's not cool yeah, at i'm all. not back hey i'm fast I promise I wash my hands. Oh no no! My chat always says, my chat always says, you do you ever wash your hands? I'm like, I do. My bathroom is just really close. Yeah. I'm like, don't call me out. I was like, I'll let me show you the soap on my hands if you want. You want proof? Uh, but uh, you want proof? We're we're talking about like Pixie. Uh, when you were gone, I was just telling like, when I was a kid, the teachers. I really had mean teachers when I was growing up. Did you pooed your pants? <laughs> just kidding. I peed my pants at class oh! because they oh, won't let me go to the bathroom <laughs> oh my god the same thing happened to tickle the exact same thing except he pooed his pants yeah not to out him but he's a pretty open about that story yeah and it's just like it was 
and they they're just like you know the teachers would blame you i'm like no that's your fault no! that's your fault i wanted to go to the bathroom maybe it was I that asked. that, that all-white school again i was kidding yep it was like, for me i i actually i don't know if i experienced like exactly racism but i experienced something a little different there i i, I can't accuse anyone of anything but yeah. But yeah, you peed your pants. It's so sad. Yeah, and I got sad, and I told. <laughs> I got sad. And my mom, I was just like, my, I told my mom. Yeah, because that's when they like the nurses. Like you had to go to the nurse's office, and you got to get a new pair yeah. of pants. And like, no, did you have to go home? Did you have to go home? Uh, I wanted to, but my mom and dad. They wouldn't let I, you. Oh. My, no, my mom and dad's a state school. I'm like, I just peed my pants in front of everybody. <laughs> how, how am I supposed to go back in there? Like, they're gonna laugh. They're like, ha ha, look at D Ray. Ha ha, you peed your pants. Yeah. Oh, and, and then now, do you know, like, the New York ball drop? I always love to mention this, and everyone hates that I mention this. Yeah. The New York ball drop, to watch it, you have to, like, stand in this line that you can't get out of, right? Yeah. If you get out of it, they don't, like, you in right yeah so people wear diapers to this to watch the ball drop and they pee and poop their pants and they kiss each other <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, adult people and you're doing that and then sometimes they don't do that and they'll, they'll like pee in the new york streets i'm like i was so shocked when i found that out it's gross but uh, that's something know, that happens in new york oh, oh, only in new york like no man i'm going to just like <laughs> seriously i'm going to go to the bathroom right away and stuff. i am not watching the ball drop i'm not gonna be around people in their diapers peeing and pooping and kissing each other <laughs> no i know now i'm gonna think about that when the ball drop i'm like i wonder who's peeing yeah and oh my god right yeah now. Who's Re- wearing the diapers? look it up on reddit it's it's yeah when i found that out i was like oh my god the ball drop because everyone always says the ball drops is a terrible experience you pee your pants and you poop your pants because you have to be there from like 12 hours a day and then people are like no bathrooms and then they have to wear diapers i'm like you guys are crazy just to see that like what watch on tv i know it's nothing special yeah. I-, I was laughing so hard i told everyone when i when i found that out, i was just telling everyone i was like did you know they pee and poop their pants do you know that adults are peeing and pooping their pants like 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 they're cavemen oh my gosh <laughs> i thought right. i thought it was funny but also very scary i i, I could never Never, never. Yeah. That's just something I. I can barely use the porta potty. I was like, oh. I know, like, anyways, in, in public places, like, I could, yeah. I can't. Like, it's hard for me. Is to... this a gross combo, guys? I know. Hey, guys, sorry. That's what <laughs> happens. Good. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. What's a non-gross combo? Uh, it's not that bad. <laughs> okay. You gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go. But I, I do have uh, one last thing before we head out here, uh, Pixie. So, I asked everybody this, and I know it's a difficult question, but I do want you to answer it. So, if you can play one, one video game your entire life, what would it be and why? Oh, 100% would be World of Warcraft. Um because World of Warcraft, no matter what expansion it was, it, it was full of, like, life and, and stuff like that. It was always about yeah. connecting with other players. So as long as other players were playing, it was a good experience. And so I could probably play WoW for a very long time. The reason why I quit WoW is one of my friends were try- was trying to get me to play WoW Wrath the Classic. And I was like, no, I can't. I'm going to ruin my life because I'm going to stay on it for, like, 12 hours. I know my addiction. But, yeah, no, World of Warcraft is a game that you could definitely get lost in and play it forever. So World of Warcraft would be, like, the top one. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, that's a good one. There's a lot of like yeah, because it's, it's online. Online games are easy to like jump in. I used to do like GTA roleplay. Oh my, I was addicted. That was so much fun. So it's kind of like wow too. Did you do that on stream? I did. Yeah, I was on that no pixel server, but I was in the public one. It was so much fun. I could play it like twelve hours a day. But I was also like, I was also sad and going through something. So I was mm-hmm. having like a lot of fun, just like getting away from life during that time. Yeah, I I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was watching you doing that. It was really fun. I've seen people do that like on YouTube. I I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's fun because it's like role play and it's like you know it's just like getting away from life for a little bit. Yeah, I want to do that if they. I'll just be like. Some... Yeah, it's content, but then at the same time, it's like you could get stuck so deep in it. I'm like, oh my god. I know. <laughs> I could play this forever because it's all about any game that's about your experience with other players is always fun. Mm-hmm. So. Because that whole game is not like, oh, I'm playing GTA. It's not, it's like, oh, I'm playing GTA with all these random people. Like, 
you know, getting to know them and mm-hmm. playing like a character with them. I know. And I, that that's a lot of fun. That'd be some like Dude, so how does that work? Do you get like assigned to a character, or can you choose? Oh no, you make your own character. Yeah. And so my my character's name was like you get to put pick a first and last name. My character's name was Diana, like my name Diana. Yeah. But I separated it, so it was, it was like Diana. My ah, last name was Anna, so it's funny. That's crazy. So I tried to make it look like me, and I wanted because I I would have a hard time playing a character that wasn't me. So if, when people would say die to me and stuff like that, yeah. or like they would say die, it would, it would make me me. It would be easier for me to talk to them and respond to them. So I wasn't really role playing as anyone but myself. Mm-hmm. But but that's how it works, yeah. And you can't really break characters. So like when you talk about like controls, they always say like use your whatever muscle, your D muscle or whatever. It's really cool. So if you ever broke character, they'd be like, What are you talking about? You know? They're like if you say like AFK, they'll be like, What are you talking about? We're not in game. It's like, <laughs> so it's like it's really funny like that. It's mm. really fun like that. That's awesome. I wonder how I've always wanted to do something like that, but I'll just maybe assign myself. Maybe I would be like a DJ. I'm just already thinking right now. Yeah, DJ yeah, you can make anything club. up. Yeah, I just have my own voice and stuff, and just be like that. Oh my gosh! I almost wanted to make like a kind of K Kona character. Was like, howdy guys, I'm from Texas or something. Uh, but I couldn't keep up the accent because yeah. that's the only accent I could do. Like I, I got my my Texan accent. <laughs> hey guys, I was gonna do that, but I was like, I can't keep that up for twelve hours a day. So oh I yeah, just, that, I just was myself. Yeah, that's really hard. I I couldn't do like a. Southern I almost accent. did it. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to do like. Some Miley Cyrus character. <laughs> Howdy, y'all! It's me. Um, hey, it's Miley. I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only ten I see. Because <laughs> to be honest, I'd just be laughing the whole time. They're like, "Why are you yeah, laughing?" Yeah, it would be sorry. so hard. I'm like, "I'm sorry. I'm just new." I'm uh, laughing my relax. I'm just new here. Yeah, I, I ain't a California. Yeah, I just moved to Texas not too long ago, so this is why I'm talking <laughs> like this. So I developed the accent and whatnot. Howdy. <laughs> So yeah, I was like one like... one year living in a place you would develop the accent. So mm-hmm. if you were to move to Britain, and after one year you would have the uh, what about English accent? accent yeah. You know? mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, like d- did I ask you if I sounded Canadian? Mm, it's hard for me to tell, like when someone sounds Canadian, but I can certainly tell if you're not from California. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like, um. I talk very Californian e. So I've been to the East Coast and they're like, "Wow, she has an accent." And I'm like, "I have an accent." Yep. But like Californians go like, you know, I like elongate my words. I go like, "Yeah." Like mm-hmm. there's more H's than there should be. Yeah. Um when people don't do that, I assume that they're not from California. <laughs> so you don't do that. You don't go like, you don't talk surfery. You know, I talk surfery a little bit. Yeah. I think I say you know a lot, so I don't know if you when we were like hanging out I'm like, "Oh, you know." <laughs> That's Unless ca- you said like a and again, then I would think you're ca- Canadian. I think, cause are you from Canadian? Mm-mm. I live like maybe like was it no eight hours from Winnipeg, Canada. Mm. So that's like our neighbor. So um, like Minnesotans, they really have a strong accent. So like I I felt like maybe like I developed it a little bit because how I say things like when I say bag. People notice and they start to laugh. They're like, "Bag." Yeah, they're like, "How come we say, say dog?" Dog. I heard like people from New York. They when you you tell them to say dog, they say dog. Or whatever. Dog, yeah. were, I've always done that. Dog. Like every everyone I've known who's been to New York, just just ask them to say dog, and then yeah. their New York accent comes out. I'm just dog. Dog. Yeah. Dog. No, I'm very. Do I sound Californian? Uh. All I can tell you is you you sound like you're not from California. Yeah. So that's a, yeah. You sound what did you say, Cali? <laughs> yeah, I sound Cali. Cali, yes. I sound very Cali. Cali, yeah, because I noticed. I don't that. mean to, but it just yeah. happens. Hey, <laughs> that's how we talk. Hey, down you're here. born there. You're born there. I'm born here. That's how we talk. Yeah. Tickle talks like it too. I think a little bit. Mm-hmm. California, because like it's, like it's very like you, you're very laid back and chill. Yeah, it's like a laid back kind of accent. It's mm-hmm. like, yo, what's up? You yeah. know, kind of thing. From, yeah, the California peeps, like, yeah, because my ca- uh, my cousin he lives out in uh, you say North Cal. I don't North know. Cal? I don't know if you guys have like a phrase or something because I might be saying it's... it wrong. Because I always say people from North Cal. 
Oh, it's NorCal. NorCal. But, okay. but I think anyone would recognize what you were saying and not correct you. Yeah. <laughs> He he t he told me like he hasn't seen me for like five six years. He's like, you sound Canadian. And I'm like, do? you sound Canadian, I'm eh? Like, I'm like, I do, because <laughs> I, I don't do? notice. I do, eh? Oh, okay. From Degrassi, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Degrassi, such a good show. <laughs> Degrassi's a great show. Yeah. I I like rewatching it every once a yeah. year. I'm not kidding you. Like no, I'll be watching. I, I was like I, I was like obsessed with that show when Drake was on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah, Degrassi was good. Mm -hmm. They had a Filipino character, Manny. So. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, oh my god. they were ahead of their time for with the Filipino character. Yeah, because it was like very rare at the time to just to see somebody that yeah. looks like me on there or any like on TV and stuff. That was like the 2000s and Filipino so unknown. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I told you guys. Like, oh, Wait, you tried Jollibee? <laughs> wait, who? Jollibee? Who? Uh, uh. You try Jollibee. That's what Tickle was asking. Oh, you do? How do you like? Oh, I love Jollibee. Whenever I get to go, that's like my favorite thing. Like for I'm gonna, I just gotta tell you this for us Filipinos that live in the Midwest, we appreciate that so much because there's none here. It's maybe eight hours mm. away because it's from. It's, there's one in Chicago, but here, where I live, there's none. And we love it every time when we go we appreciate the food and we're like obsessed with it and i know like you know other filipinos like if you guys you know because you guys live out on the west coast and you love it like you guys are you know you get to like eat it whenever you can but for us we savor that moment it's like every time i go there i'm like jollibee <laughs> freaking chicken joy the the gravy or something about the gravy i'm obsessed with the gravy i love it and i'm obsessed with the the spaghetti <laughs> oh, you love the spaghetti? Oh, I love the spaghetti. Yeah, I don't really like it because my mom cooks a really good Filipino spaghetti than that. So whenever my I mom have... is like famous thing is uh, fried rice, so she never cooks spaghetti. Oh, it's fried, fried rice. rice. Okay. Yeah, so she's like um, always like fried rice at the party. I remember at Filipino parties, she brings her fried rice. Mm -hmm. and my brother has like this super big. He usually has super big Filipino parties because he has like a big place in Temecula. Mm -hmm. I remember one time she bought like a huge thing of it and it was all gone within like, an hour and then she's like in the kitchen I'm like, what are you doing? She's like cooking more fried rice. I was like at the party. I just was having a good time I was, yeah. like, She's crazy. She's like, oh, they, 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 we ran out. I'm like, you're so funny. <laughs> oh, they need more. Don't worry. Yeah, it's just They need more. I'm gonna cook at this party. <laughs> yeah, that's like the same thing with my mom. They love stuffing people's mouths. Oh, yeah, it's a it's, Filipino mom. So it's it's a Filipino slash Asian thing. You know, they always mm -hmm. want you to eat. Just eat, 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 yeah. eat more. Yeah, eat they're, more. they're like, did you eat yet and i'm like uh well it's just funny because whenever i go visit my my parents okay we we eat lunch or breakfast first and i'm like kind of full and they like after 15 minutes later are you hungry anak and i'm like <laughs> i just ate I know. You hungry? <laughs> yeah i'm like can i like rest up before we eat lunch They're like okay and we like they lo we love going to buffets my favorite part is going to buffets mm. so we love me and my mom and dad and my siblings we love to go to buffets then after the buffet like when we're done when we're like legit full we can't eat anymore within like 20 minutes are you hungry I'm like are you kidding me i'm like i'm not hungry i'm hungry <laughs> I'm like, hey. i get hungry really fast oh you do okay i i can't anymore i used to when in my younger days i used to but not anymore i can't do it my metabolism is really yeah it's really bad I, I i don't gain weight i've i've had the same weight but i eat like a monster yeah oh that's good but i'll be hungry when everyone else is not hungry yeah. i get i get full fast but then i get hungry easily Easy. so i'll get hungry like 30 minutes so like we're eating queen barbecue and then i get full and then 30 minutes later i'm like all right let's oh do you can more. do it again <laughs> yeah uh yeah i miss that i miss having that metabolism i used to have that a lot like i'm like 30 minutes i don't want to lose it and yeah. i'm like i don't want to lose it i look like i work out but i don't so i'm like <laughs> i want to keep that way <laughs> I know. I'm like, I can't eat anymore. I like, I force myself to eat it. when I'm hungry. I'm like, why am I doing this? <laughs> you ever get like so busy where you're like, you're doing something, you're like in the zone and then you get hungry and you're like, why am I hungry? <laughs> oh yeah. Cause I, I get, I get so annoyed. Cause I'm like, I don't want to pause to eat. I'm busy. I'm in the zone. You know, what's the worst when I get hungry is streaming. I don't yeah. know why. Every time I stream, I eat on stream yeah. because I can't help it. Like I said, my metabolism so so like there. I have to eat on stream. Yeah. <laughs> it's like no, it's a given. Oh no no! You have to eat. You have to eat. 
because that's when I like yeah. I had to like use like the BRB screen. I'm like, guys, I'm so sorry, but my <laughs> stomach's rumbling. I don't know if you heard it on stream. I'm shaking. You need a big cookie. Yeah, I need a cookie. I need to eat all I that. Need, I need a cookie. I need grandma's cookies. <laughs> I need grandma cookies. I'm gonna eat this right now for you. Wait, so um, did uh like your Lola or Lolo, your your grandparents, did they ever have? I don't know if it's a Filipino thing, but did they ever have those strawberry candies that they would give to you when you're a kid? I think so. Yeah, I think so. They they passed away a while ago, but yeah. I think my grandma had yeah the strawberry hard candies. You talking about? Yeah, I was like a neighbor who had that. Like I had an old lady neighbor. She wasn't Filipino. She's yeah. a white lady. Oh, okay. But she she always had candy. She here you go, and I'd be like ah. I actually like those. To be yeah. honest. I don't like. Which one is that? I don't like the butterscotch. Butterscotch is trash. Yeah. But the the strawberry one is fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's okay. So maybe it is just a, maybe an old people candy thing. Cause I, I think it's the old little... people thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cause... Cause I've, I've definitely seen like older white people have it too. Okay. Yeah. Cause my grandmas, they, they used to have them all the time. Well, my grandma still has them whenever I go visit her. She's like, you want candy? I'm like. I said, where do you buy this? I'm like. I don't even see it in the store. Like. Where where is the secret stash you you selling these at, or what kind of like we're in the market where you get them and stuff? Because I think you, I don't know. It's like do you get them from Walmart because I, I I don't I, I guess I've never looked for them. Yeah, but I, I never I, looked I, for I them too. Walmart would, I assume Walmart would have it yeah. because Walmart has everything. So they probably have a grandma section. <laughs> yeah, it's probably grandma I think candy. like there's there's all the name brand candies and then the little section for the grandma grandmas candies. so they can get it. They're just like here get the. The label says, "Give these it's to probably cheap too. Give these to your grandchildren." <laughs> right, the strawberry one's not bad though. Yeah, no, I don't like are hard good. candy now. Though I feel like I'm gonna choke on it. Oh yeah, can't really. I don't know. I don't even like. I can't really Jolly eat ranchers. candy anymore. I yeah, I used to like this as a kid, but like now that we're older, it's like ugh. <sighs> I know. I, I that's that's what's really like I mentioned earlier, like the sweet tooth. I like I have a big sweet tooth and. I, well, I know in a way, so like I I like can resist, mm -hmm. but but before yeah, I definitely was the same. But yeah, it's kind of working because I'm replacing them with fruits, and I'm really appreciating. Yeah, frozen blueberries, uh, Ram said in chat. Yeah, <laughs> those have a little bit of sugar added to them. That's why they're so good. Oh, okay. Old people candy is where a comedy. Like there's like this frozen banana. It was super good. Yeah. And uh, I was like, why? Why is this so good? I could like chew on it. <laughs> But I realized they added sugar, yep. more sugar in it, so. Man, man, oh man. Well, guys. Well, well guys, we are reaching. Well, guys. We're reaching our mark. I swear, wee -woo, uh, Pixie, wee -woo, wee -woo. we can like talk for like another three, four hours. I know, yeah, This, this was so sure. much fun. I really appreciate it you for being here. It was a lot of fun. You're awesome. I just want to let no, you know. No, you're that. awesome too. No, nope, not I you. I appreciate being on here. I'm honored. No, you. No, you. No, nope, no, nope, not, not you. Not you. <laughs> I know. We just had it. Hey, I didn't even do my anything yet. It. You were supposed to stay here. <laughs> no, you. I won. <laughs> <laughs> but no, guys, thank you so much for all being here. You know, Dickel, Ram, Foon, um, uh, Parlanak, Jack C. Uh, you guys came in with the raid. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And like, guys. Like one more, time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Wait, uh, wait. Oh, my thing's not up. Sorry, I'm very rusty at it's this. Earthquake! I'm just kidding. Huh? It's an earthquake. Look, I can simulate an earthquake. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not an earthquake. What if I told you like that? It's an earthquake. Oh my god, ah! I'd be scared for you. I'm like, no, no, get that's my cable. There. I'm like, well, actually, she can't get really get out of there. She has to like, I don't know. What? So what do you do if there was like. Okay, like an earthquake that was like happening. Okay, Where do you the, like hide in your house? I think there's a misconception house? about. I think there's a misconception about California earthquakes because California earthquakes are like like they're just like this. Yeah. That's it. Like you don't need to hide anywhere. Mm -hmm. they, they're just like not crazy. If there was a crazy like San Andreas fault thing yeah. going on, which has never happened. Yeah. Uh, then you'd. Ha I, we've never had big ones. Not like Japan. Like you've seen the videos where they Japan yeah, has yeah. a huge earthquake. No, no. It's I think yeah. I think there's like a misconception about earthquakes and fires in California because they're just like so minor. Okay. Yeah, because my first ever earthquake experience was actually when I was uh, in San Diego in 2011. But I was in the, I was in the, I was in a pool, and I was like, you know, hanging around the pool. Then I just was like asking my cousin, like, 
hey, did you turn on something? Because the, it was <laughs> waves. And I'm like, how come we're like moving like that? I'm like, did you press a button? And my cousin, it's an earthquake. And I'm like, what? what is that? I'm like, oh! Because <laughs> we're like going around the pool like that. But it was like only, it probably only lasted a, it was, a yeah, minute it was a or shift. something like that. But I've never felt like that before. Like it was just like, Whoa. yeah, it feels weird. It, it feels like almost like this construction working in the area that you're at. So like the worst one I've ever been at was the Anime Expo earthquake, which was 2019. Yeah. So like it happened during Anime Expo, but I was in Pasadena at the time, which was on the San Andreas Fault, right? Mm -hmm. So I was in this apartment, and then it started moving. And I hated this apartment because it generally felt like it was moving when I was walking around in it. Yeah. But it was moving really hard, and I, it felt really bad. And then I was like. Are we gonna die? <laughs> I said, is the apartment complex falling apart? That's what I thought was happening. Uh, I was like, is it finally falling apart? This this like apartment complex is like, I don't know. It you, it would shake sometimes when you were like walking around it. So I was like, yeah, yeah, this is not safe. And then and then I realized it was an earthquake, and I was like, wow, that was the worst one I've been in because it was it was just like it shifted really hard. Okay. That that building. That building was on its last limbs, I swear. If there's a stronger earthquake, it would have fell apart. Like, I hate that building. Yeah, don't, don't go back to that building, okay? <laughs> I won't go back to the building, no. All right, oh, yeah, I don't want... Yeah, because it's... Yeah, because the closest thing for us, like, for me, is tornadoes. I don't know if... Does California have tornadoes? No, a tornado. No, I always make fun of Tornado Alley, which is really bad, because it's like Tornado Alley's like what that that strip of uh states, and I always say like it's mm -hmm. my nightmare to live there. Yeah, <laughs> which is bad. No, I I've never I've seen a tornado in my life, but tornadoes are uh they're something. <laughs> I've seen like uh when I was driving in California, um, like on the deserts, but I saw like this cyclone. That no. That was like oh, it's and, just a wind. It's like yeah. a dust devil. Yeah, that's it was like called. it was really cool. I've never seen anything like that. So, yeah, so I was like driving right by it. I was like, just Whoa! don't go, just go go any of your seas. Yeah, I was like, I was thinking, I was like, is this a tornado? I've never seen a tornado in here. <laughs> is a tornado I'm moving? Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think you guys have it because. It's, no. it's only... We don't have anything. We're like safe. People always said there was like you have earthquakes and fires. I was like, I have never been threatened by an earthquake or fire. Yeah. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I hope you, uh, you never come across anything like that. <laughs> we're just we're just uh, threatened by the rent prices. <laughs> <laughs> True. The True. price of rent. That's why I don't want the price of a one bedroom, one bathroom being almost at two k. I know. I think that we were talking about that because I was like telling you, yeah. I was like, I would love to live out here, but I can't right now because. But you don't want to pay two k for an apartment. No, like, like I was telling you, like my square feet of my place that I have here, it's so like, for the price of it, yeah, it's fair. But if I was gonna get something like, if I was gonna move to Los Angeles and three like. It's like maybe three thousand for like a studio, and it's just everything's clunked up together. You know, you don't yeah. have room or anything. I'm like three thousand. Yeah, I knew for this? someone with a studio, and it was pretty tight, like a Japanese studio. I think I told you this. Mm -hmm. And uh, he paid like one point seven k for it a mm -hmm. month, but it was like a Japanese studio where it's really tight, where you walked in the bathroom and the kitchen were there, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what? That price is disgusting. I know. Why, why, why are you... About the size of my room. Less than the size of my room, which is crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. I, I, the minute that I saw, like, my cousin's studio, I got sad. I'm like, dude, my my place is really big, and, like, I paid this much. And he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, California's crazy. Uh, I, I thought people were moving out of California, but it doesn't affect the fact that the prices are high, I mm -hmm. guess. They're all moving to Las Vegas. They're moving to like um, anything nearby, so like Nevada, mm -hmm. yeah, Texas is a big one. They're moving to Texas. Texas, yeah. Um, a lot of companies are moving to Texas because they have better company laws there. Yeah. Like business law structures, so a lot of businesses are saying that their the offices are in Texas. Oh. Um, yeah, Arizona. Arizona's dirt cheap. Like if you want to live in Arizona, that's a pretty dirt cheap place. But there's yeah. nothing there. <laughs> yeah. It's a desert. Yeah. If you enjoy the desert. Yeah, you can also live. Yeah, Minnesota too has actually a big. Um, so it's in Oregon. Oregon has no taxes, I think. We don't have taxes. Oh, you don't have taxes. Oh my yeah. god. So if you, yeah, if you ever want to live out, you just you gotta have to. You're gonna suffer through the cold. I know the weather. The weather, and then it's kind of too rural. Like I love busy. Like even though I complain about like crowds, I love 
lively places where people don't recognize me. So like if I lived in a rural place where people recognize me, then that's like my neighbor. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's you. They're like, Damn. They're like, oh, I've seen you. Like, I'll see you next time. I'm like, no, don't see me next time. <laughs> <laughs> Next time? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't... Usually when I go to a grocery store, there's not... They don't recognize me, because it's just too busy to recognize someone like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope one day somebody recognizes me in the grocery store. Hey, yo, D-Rat! I'm like, what up? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, this is so weird. At Santa Comic Con, there was someone who was like, are you Pixie Die? I'm like, who are you? What? I was so honored. I was like, they were like, I watch your stream sometimes. It's like, what? Oh, I that's so cool. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah, it was really crazy. Are you, are you, uh, yeah, like, what was it? Because they can be, like, lurkers and, yeah. or people that... I'm a big lurker. Yeah. I, I sometimes, like, because I'm an introvert, sometimes I get exhausted. Because oh. if I say hi, then I know that everyone's going to be, like, hi to me. Then, yeah. I, but sometimes I like to just creep and yeah. watch. Yeah, because I'm thinking, like, I wouldn't say, like, calling out the lurkers but they're just maybe a viewer that you've seen but they don't stream but you see them like on stream and they, they're like hey I, I watch you my name is this because that happened to me at yeah. TwitchCon and I'm like I don't recognize this person because she was like saying hi and I'm like uh I'm like hi and she's like it's me what then she uh, said her name I'm like oh that's you <laughs> I'm like I'm so sorry I miss these uh, yeah how's you I miss you how's it oh thank you Ah, I like you. That's like in cosplay because we all look different. Um, I look very different in cosplay, like extremely different. Mm -hmm. Um, to the point where a lot of people say, like, "Have we met?" I'm like, "We met thousands of times." <laughs> it's me. I'm like, I'm glad that I look different so I can hide. Oh yeah, no, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, because I look at my cosplays, I'm like, "Wait, that's me? I look so different." Yeah. That's what's fun about it is that like I look extremely different. I'm like, whoa, I'm a whole different person. That's yeah. really fun. Like, like your, your own skins in a game. It's like I'm reskinning myself, and mm -hmm. it's like fun. Man, that's awesome. Okay, so yeah, one more question before we leave. Okay. Uh, legit leave. Um, yeah, so... we legit leave. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep talking. So, so how many how many co cosplay outfits have you done? Oh shit! I mean, I bought a lot. I'll be honest. I buy a lot because because um, there's no shame in buying your cosplays oh, as long as yeah. you, like, like a lot of people like always like kind of shame the the people who buy their cosplays. And I'm like, if you if you like it and you look good in it and you, yeah. you're happy with it, there's no shame on it. But so so a lot of them are bought cosplays that I enhance. But the ones I'm proud of the most are the ones that I made. Yep. But like overall, I don't know. I I know for a fact that I had a hundred plus wigs. Oh. I just recently okay. got rid of. 100 plus yeah so like you know it's like ikea boxes i had them all stuffed in there oh cool i've gotten rid of most of them yeah. so I, I try to resell them or give them to people like i had a little sister cosplay it took up a lot of room with a little syringe mm -hmm. i actually sold that to a, fr a friend for a pretty cheap price because she was gonna wear it oh. and that was cool so um i don't i don't know in my closet current oh it's such a mess because it takes up three closets <laughs> i still need to clean it out it's a good reminder of cleaning out i don't know i would say 100 plus wigs maybe 60 plus cosplays i don't know 60 okay no that seems fair yeah. nice nice i'm gonna try to break that record <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> do it no i need to sell them to be honest i usually try to resell them at a cheap price because oh. mostly because of room i don't yep. really need the money so mostly because of room so if anyone's a small in, in cosplay wants a specific cosplay probably sell it <laughs> yeah go ahead up pixie guys if you need any like, cosplays, cosplay stuff okay sweet 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 well time has ended this was really fun again thank you it was so a lot much fun. This was really cool, like, you know, getting to know you as, like, a content creator and as an artist and as a cosplayer. And, you know, like I, like I mentioned before, you're awesome. I'm wishing you Aww. lots of success in your career. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm... I'm so glad you brought me on it was a lot of fun yeah of course i knew it was gonna be fun <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no no it was a great time it was great getting to know you as well so i like the vibes so this was a lot of fun i think a l the chat had a lot of fun too so yeah it was really yeah great. and uh yeah big thank you like i'm sorry if i'm not gonna name you all so i'm just gonna do the wave <laughs> thing that pixie taught the me. wave that like hi and thank you guys so much for being here i really 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 appreciate just not the support for me but most importantly for pixie because she's amazing so 
um, but I'm gonna do my ending outro here, so I just want to say to everybody, uh, thank you, peeps, for watching Lunch with a Friend thank you, thank you. episode 15 or 16. I don't know, I, I last count with Pixie Die. I really appreciate all you peeps for watching. If you ain't follow me on the socials, everything is at D Rap Punks right above there. Of course, you're watching on Twitch. I'm also on YouTube, SoundCloud, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Bye. Follow, follow him, follow him, follow him, follow him. If you want. <laughs> and, um, Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll be back later. Well, actually, I won't be back. It's Lucha Punks. You won't be back today. No, I'm, I'm taking it. Was that Fancy 10 stream? <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep you updated about that. Okay, keep you updated. Yeah. Uh, but uh, before we go, uh, Pixie, do you have any, like, socials or anything that you want people to follow you at before? Oh, uh, shoot. I have, uh... I have Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Those are my main things. It depends on what you're looking for. Okay. Um, Instagram's for cosplay. Twitch is for whatever I do. Go like this, la la. And then Twitter, I, I kind of use it, but not really. But uh, feel free to connect on there. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah, I just put, you enjoy. I put. Yep. I just put that down. Ooh, thank you for that. Uh, shout out was given to Pixie. Nice. I really like that that they added that shout out thing. Here. Yeah. Oh, when people had the shout out, um, I think they have a shout out where it like puts up a huge video. I kept getting like old videos, and yeah. I was like, "Oh no, they're showing my old vids." <laughs> <laughs> you can so I like them. the built-in one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, no, I can't, I can't see them. I should delete them. I should delete them. Now. <laughs> I'm followed just to follow again. <laughs> Easy. Tickle says MySpace Zanga Friendster. Yo, you know Zanga? That was my thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> Zanga! That was my block. I would use some uh use blocks. Ga Gaia on online. Oh my god. Gaia's where everyone was like really creepy. Oh man. We gotta talk more tickle about Zanga. <laughs> Make tickle 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 the next lunch with friends though. Yeah. Tickle's the next one. Most definitely. Are you answering it through Burger Hello? King? Hello, I want Al Pastor tacos. <laughs> Extra cilantro. The, the Burger King drive through That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, do that. That's awesome. For the Zeno. <laughs> Let's go. The Zeno's too good. My oh. my uh my friend Rami made it. It's so good. I'm like, why is this so good, the break dance? Well, Zeno's so fluid. Zeno's so, so adorbs. I love Zeno. Zeno's my favorite. That's why he's in the background right there. <laughs> I love the Japanese dub because it's so cute. Uh, is... Both of them are so cute. The English, the English one is so good yeah. too. Is uh, what what's what's Zeno? Is it is it he or she? I don't. I think Zeno is just an androgynous. I'm not sure. Okay. I think they say he. I think they say he. Okay, cause yeah, Goku has said, "Hey, what's that little bro?" He said that. Though. Yeah, they say he says like little guy or whatever. Yeah, he said little guy and little bro. So, but it and they they, they do say Omni King. So. Yeah. Zeno is everything and anything. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Fun guy. Zeno is everything, but adorbs. Zeno's the all encompassed universe. Zeno is my god. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I'll mine too. Just don't blow it up. Don't blow up the planet that I live in, okay? His you. plan was never to blow it up. He was just skamazing. He's like, oh, I'm just testing if you guys are cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's why he's testing I was like, you a troll. He's like, I love you, Goku. You're such a. You're he such loves a... Goku. Yeah. He's like, this guy's quirky. I know. They every time they see him, hey! and Goku's just pure heart. He's just like, I don't know why you guys are afraid. Just be cool. That's it. Just be chill. <laughs> All right, sweet. Okay, we are raiding. Okay, the raid has commenced. I just want to say one more time, thank you so much, Pixie, for being here. You are awesome, and. I'll see you guys next time, all right? Yeah. Bye. <laughs>